Amirul Dan, Joey Ban, alright, Raju Dan, except for GitHub, alright, Shamil Dan. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we meet some more, we meet some more, we meet some more, even after this is going to be introduction a little bit. Good evening, Ma. Wan Muzafa. Ah, yes, ah, Navin there. Yeah, as I promised, I come in at 6.45. What did I say? You, you didn't promise anything. That's why I didn't wait. No, I told Isha to send it to you because I got to go out to get some uh, dinner stuff and all that uh, since working from home. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome on board in uh, Industry 4 uh, Academy for this course called uh, Web development actually is full step web and app development. Some of you are continuing for six months. Some of you just want to learn to be basic web development. Uh, you can on your camera uh, also and also uh, some of you are under the Perkeso EIS, which uh, registered as certified website developer. Basically a skill set given to you for you to get to try to get a job after you finish the course. So I know here at least got four Perkeso EIS retrench worker that are looking for job, correct? Yeah, so don't worry. Mr. Wan Muzaffar will be teaching you. He's an excellent trainer. He's been with us for many years. We've been doing this course and he's the right man to coach you, guide you and make you to learn how to build website under his care. And his modular are very structured, well structured for you to become an expert in website development or full stack web and app development. So for the Perkeso people, one of my requirement is our requirement is very easy. I will send an email to you all, all right, regarding on helping you all to get job placement. I know few of you all in the My Future Jobs portal, you all register your CV and resume. Am I right? Correct. Uh, those people who have that on top plus is open to anybody. It's not only Perkeso. So it's open anybody here who is paying also want to find a job or what can still use our BAC platform. All right. What I want to share with you is our BAC platform is actually a platform called uh, Job BAC. Wait for my email. I'll send all of you all the emails and then you can put your job resume there your pot, your job cv all your resume there then after that my team we, bac has another team uh, because industry for academy is part of bac community is our subsidiary uh, bac's own one so the team will help you to do placing you to jobs also okay uh with regarding about the structure of the perkeso eis and all not to worry just finish your class fulfill your hours, do your training, get yourself the certificate. My colleague Isha will communicate you from the time what to be needed. So all these are important also for documentation purpose. I think one Muzaffa, this is the third batch. Uh, okay, so we are running right. Some of it mixed, mixed crowd. Yeah. All right. Uh, third, four, I, think. I can't remember. Uh, third, 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 third. Uh, December, Jan, March, fourth. You are right, four. Yeah. Number yang keempat. So we are running it uh, from that time maybe. So we will assist and support. And some of you will take this advantage to learn and grab as many knowledge and how to do this. Any question here, sir? Any question to me? You can ask, you know. Any question, anything you need to know? No, huh? Okay, all good, huh? So good luck. Thank you for joining the program. Uh, is all you in the hands of Mr. Wan Muzaffar? He will guide you and coach you and train you up. All right, thank you. Hello, Thanks. Sir, just, sorry, sorry. Ah, sir, I, I want to ask uh, some question. Ah, okay. Uh, regarding the uh, job placement, can? Ah, okay. So uh, if I'm not in the program of okay, so or EIS. So after I complete the full stack development program for three module, can I join the the your program to to get a job placement? 
for yeah. sure you are most welcome. Don't worry. It's okay. open whether you are the worker or not, uh, not okay, so not. It's just a platform for anybody. You are the most welcome also, so don't worry. Can. In fact, uh, we you can start now also applying any job. But the question is, do you have a job or are you looking for a job? Okay, I do have my freelance accounting. Okay, consider you are doing freelance is nothing. Do you have a secure employment with a contract or one year job or permanent? Do you have that? Not yet. So you can start now. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can start without the, you can put one of uh, you learning web, full stack web there in progress. I'm learning for your mm -hmm. top up digital skill, for your skill to learn that no problem, but you can start now. Okay, thank you, sir. So I'm going to send to everybody to welcome on board those who are because uh, the situation of our country and all this a lot high unemployment. So we want to help you all. We want to make all this to be happen. S training skill is an education for you. It help you to get a job. It help you to tell yourself like uh, Shamil, you said I baru belajar full stack. I boleh buat programming. I boleh buat hybrid framework. I boleh buat API. I can do Python semua. Katakan Wan Muzaffar dah bagi ilham kepada kamu semua, you can dah belajar semua betul. From there, then you can pitch to the company. I can do this, I can do that, I can do this. That's where you can get your job. When you know your, when you know what to do, how to do, that's where you can get a job. But you need some ground of training after this training. Am I right, Wan Muzaffar? After people learn from you, they should have some practical practice in the employment, right? Mm, correct, and normally. Uh, yeah. The more you practice, the more you do, the more you good at. The more problem come to you or more project come to you, the better is your profiling. Your profiling means your CV profile, what you have achieved, what you have you done in your life. That is more important. Then they will see you're credible. The freelance is a, a you all still have to cari makan, you all still have to do some work. So they only all can do. La. I'm not counting that as employment. Employment means real job. Anyone else? No question. I don't want to delay your learning. Uh, pass to you the floor, sir. You can continue. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Okay, ni apa? Uh, sambil sambil lah. While 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 I'm doing class, uh, while I'm I, actually I think for the next for the next thirty minutes it's going to be explanation only. Uh, so while while I'm I'm explaining, you can you can always just slow slow lah. Right? You can just con uh, ni for for those who have not done. Cukup uh, already already ten no no. Let me check. Up uh, should be ten percent yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, cukup sepuluh ya. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. For the ten person, I'm not sure who's the ten person. Uh, yeah, jadi guys, I mean, for the ten person who join, uh, you can get my slide here. All right. And then, and then you do the second pitch, all right? So there are a few things that you need to download. Do the second pitch. Uh, install Sublime, uh, install Sublime first, register code pen, register free code cam, register. The only thing that I think we need before break is this, all right? The only thing that we need immediately is this, but it's not that, that it's not that uh long for you to download it the, the others only uh, we will need it along the way all right okay shamil have questions ah shamil i want to ask hmm. uh sebelum ni saya dah buat github tau sebab kita ada join program dia suruh buat guna github hmm. so lepas tu yang saya bagi semua tu saya dah link out dekat apa link link sekali lah kita register guna github kan ah. so cuma saya nak tanya macam free code tu dia tak boleh masuk lah kenapa eh Free code cam tak boleh masuk ya guna GitHub. Ah tak boleh masuk sebab saya 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 dah dah ada GitHub kan. Patut tengok bila nak masuk tu sign up boleh boleh guna ni je kan. Boleh guna GitHub je kan. So saya guna cari tu jelah lagi senang kan. Ha. Ah. Uh, eh saya pun saya sebenarnya pakai email. Kalau tak boleh pakai email je. Ah, ah boleh. boleh. Dia tak dia tak ada effect pun. Ah ni. 
Dia tak ada, dia tak ada apa yang buat kerja okay, Ini gihab tak ambil pun ha, Dia oh, pakai okay. ha, pake email je kalau tak Okay, thank you sir Okay, so ini ya. Uh, okay. Alright, so uh, here's the agenda. I think, I think, I think he ni last batch punya. So let me on the way. Let me all the way. I will edit the page as well. So, alright. So you have the schedule. So Isha already sent an email. I think yesterday or the day before. In that last week, right? Last week, uh, before to before before to Tito, Isha sent an email, and sharing us the schedule, right? Sharing us the schedule for for this 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 uh, these two months. All right. So let's let's do use that as a master schedule. If everything goes well, we everything goes well, we follow Isha's schedule, or right, as per email. But sometimes, you know, I will just put here. Sometimes it happened that I might have emergency. All right, I think terjadi two or three times before I have one, 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 two months, or the two months, sometimes I got last minute things and everything. All right, so sometimes I might have emergency. So if the class is cancelled, I will inform you, all right, and it will be replaced on an additional week. So let's say that you, you, let's, let's have a look at Isha's schedule together. So this is very important so that so that later you are not frustrated suddenly like, eh class cancel class cancel and because sometimes it happened uh, that, that uh, I have to go somewhere or some uh, something okay so let's look at Isha's schedule so let yeah you think what the, the, the class is around upper 26 of uh, 26th of July, right? So you just assume that 26th of July, again, they might have class Tuesday, uh, the Tuesday or Friday might have class if if suddenly I, I have to cancel somewhere. So it's going to be on the 27th and then on the, on the on the 30th, all right? 37th and the 30th, right? So that's that's if I cancel somewhere, all right? So that's that's the thing that I want to set up. Uh, the first thing, all right. The first thing, uh, because we never know. Last time, last time, I think two, three, two, three batches. Uh, my 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 brother was admitted to hospital, and I do three hari juga. I had to cancel class. So that's 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 few things that I have to let you know. So this one tak ada apa lagi. Everything is okay. So it's going to be a seven weeks of class, all right? Plus one week of buffer, all right? Seven week of class, plus one week of buffer. Somewhere later, around 30 min, uh, around 70, 30 or 7.45, you're going to have 20 to 30 minutes spray and then quick dinner, all right? So normally I will follow the computer time, which is which is uh, Apple time, all right? So if, all right, if, if I turn on my camera, it means I am in front of PC, all right? So during break, Kadang-kadang I, I open my camera, kadang-kadang I'm off my camera and that's doing shouting. I'm not in front of my camera. But but if if I'm open my camera, it means I'm in there. If I turn off my camera, it's not I'm not I'm not here lah. Right? I'm in, I'm in Dapo or somewhere. All right. So that's 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 something that uh, niche uh, you to to understand lah. Right? This is how online online works then. All right. So this one since since this one is sebelum ni, no, no nothing is here. So the class is around 6.30 to 10.30, but normally 7, 10, 15, uh, 6.30 to 10.30, but I think it's going to be like uh, ngam ngam 10.15, right? because normally I always finish at 10.15, right? I always finish at 10.15, because I will, I, will, I will leave you 15 minutes for you to do Q&A, to check your code, and then just now, uh, siapa, 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 first day, first day ni biasa lah, right? I, I, I can't really remember, Shamil, Shamil mentioned about GitHub, right? sometimes you have to upload your code to GitHub and everything, so that's, that's, that's the last 15 minutes uh, that you need to know. Okay, so I will skip the introduction because I have your database anyway, I, I, I have your name, but I try to remember your name. Uh, give me some time to remember your name and everything because you are, you are 10, a little bit hard, a little bit. Uh, and then uh, along the way, I will give you some exercise. You have to do your CV lah. You have to do your you have to do your uh, introduction about where you from. Or right? not everyone is of you might be from KL. From that exercise, I will get to know you you better, right? So that one, this one we skip first. Uh, we we go directly to uh, to the structure, right? So today is Tuesday, all right? Normally. 
normally the start of the week is Monday, right? But but today is Tuesday already. But but this is how it works normally. So you have to think, uh, one week you will have one topic. Later we will go to the seven topics that we're going to do together during this this seven to eight weeks. All right. So one week you have one topic. And then normally on Monday and Tuesday, we will do the lecture. Lecture. When I put lecture here, my lecture is 30% slide, 70% code. All right, so the, 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 the lecture is really, you have to follow me. Huh? You have to open the code. You have to just try to copy paste and see what, what I'm doing at the same time. So that's, that's, that's my style. Normally, you normally students have to copy my code. Huh? And then on Friday, this is what we call exercise plus tutorial day right on, on Friday is an exercise plus tutorial day because when you come on Friday 6 30 I will give you exercises right I will give you exercises and then uh, and then uh, because you are how many of you you attend and then I have another class at the same time so it is going to be two two groups at the same time group one and group two both group two we will we, we'll, We'll do exercise at the same time, but from time to time, I will check. Uh, you guys have problem. You guys have problem. You guys have problem, and, and then sometimes it depends lah. If if I some some of the exercises, I will give uh, the answer at the same time. Some of the exercises, I will just let you give me the, give me the answer, and then I will check. Right, so it depends. So that's Friday. Yeah, Friday is exercise plus tutorial. All right, and then and then on Monday and Tuesday is actually the the class. All right. And then uh, I will give you some of the reference where, where you need to do continuous online learning. All right, so I will give you some of the reference where, where I'm going to give you continuous online tutorial. So my recommendation is for you to do one hour exercise a day. All right, just now uh, Mr. Navin mentioned about uh, trying to find job and everything. Uh, so one of the key is for you to get the habit. All right, I think that's, that's about anything. I, I actually just 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 for 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 information yeah? I'm, I'm learning i'm learning uh turkish language now because 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 i want to do some uh business with them and to learn language also you have to like every day I have to do 15 minutes 15 minutes minimum 15 minutes 15 minutes all right so that's that's how you get your habit lah. all right so try to do you are learning language but you're doing programming language i'm i'm learning turkish language you're doing programming language so you you have to you have to have the habit all right try to do the exercise at least uh, one 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 hour a day, uh, one hour a day. Set set time, one hour a day. Even if there is no class today, no no problem. Today is you do in class. Tomorrow you have to do it. Uh, Thursday you have to do it, and then Friday no, uh, you do it me. Right, Saturday Sunday you have to do one hour, one hour. Right. So that's uh yeah. I resume these three slides. So you have master class, uh, and then and then and then uh you have uh, uh module project. All right, module project by the end. Where I can't remember. Okay, okay. All right, so that's that's your that's the master class, and then uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes uh, I give one project, sometimes I give two project. Uh, normally I give two project. So by the end of these seven weeks, you're going to have two projects, which call a module one project. The first project is. The team, all right. The, the the idea is to to do something that is informative plus booking website, all right. So you will be creating a booking website. So for example, hotel, restaurant, vacation, car rental, all right. That will have the information on the service provided, all right. That website, oh, you you know the 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 website. Actually, actually, I will just use. I will always use the same example as reference. Uh, which is uh, not right. Uh, not right. So it's, it's, it's something sim simple like this, right? Something simple like this. You just imagine uh, one page of website, something simple like this, all right? The, the, I think, yeah, and then if, if for example, uh, you have all the list of motorbikes that you want to rent, all right? And then one, one if you if you like if if your user like this this uh, motorbike, they press it that that it will go to a form. All right, we make it simplify. It will go to a form, and then you fill in which date, and then uh, which date, which time, what's your name, what's your email, and everything, and it will be linked to Google, uh, Google Drive. All right, so that's that's uh, 
uh, that's your first project. So that will count 10% of your final score uh, for this module. At the, at the exam at the end, uh, in the end, you have an exam. Second is, uh, second project is your portfolio. Right, so this one, uh, this is a little bit hard. So this one, you start doing it at week seven, week six or week seven, week six. Week six or week seven, you have everything to build it. Right, so if this is level two, uh, level two project. Your level one project is this, all right? You're going to create your portfolio or your CV, right? You will create a website, which is an interactive version of your portfolio or your CVs, all right? You will be putting all the projects that you're going to create, all the projects and exercises that you have created during these two months inside the website or, port or portfolio, right? So this also will count 10% of your final score. Right, so this one actually, again, if you don't want to put everything, because some students they put everything at the end and then they ask me for extension and everything, right? It's a rugi, lah, right? Rugi, rugi. Because if you ask me for extension, then then rugi because, because uh, uh, well, yeah, you, you can ask extension, I can give you marks, but then if you have problem there, because I'm, I had, I'm with a new batch, right? But at least if you do it now, if you have problem, we can still check, I can still check and everything. I can give feedback, all right? So this one normally, I, you will have everything. You can start doing it at the fourth week. All right. So try try to follow this timeline, lah. Try to follow this timeline. But I will not force you. I will not force you. But if 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 you follow this timeline, then you will not have a lot of things at the end. All right. So this one week six, week seven. This one is fourth week. And then just now, all right. Just now you 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 registered to free code camp. All right. What's what's free code camp is? Free code cam is 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 where where is actually a, a tutorial website. Right? It's a tutorial website. They will have they have a lot of challenge here. Right? They have a lot of challenge here. So from time to time we're going to do this together as well. From time to time, uh, we will do this together. Today we will do like five to ten questions so that you will get uh, you 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 will get used to it. And then later later I can I can you can you can do it by yourself. This is the one that I ask you to do ten every day. Right? You can just do like. One hour do ten exercises. One hour do ten exercises. One one day, sorry, one day do ten exercises. Tomorrow you do ten exercises. After tomorrow you do ten exercises. All right, by doing ten exercises every day, so the one week you can have like for fifty exercises. Right, let's let's don't count Saturday Sunday, right? Or, or, or one one week you have fifty exercises, and then we with time seven, right? With time seven, then you going to have three hundred fifty exercises. We should already a lot, all right. We should already a lot, all right. But I'm going to give you some discount, raya, busy, and everything. So for free code camp, right, for free code camp, it will be part of your of your final score as well. I need you to answer 200 questions from free code camp, all right. So because for example, right, today you will learn how to to build a website. Right? Today you will learn how to build a website. By the end of today, all right, you should know how to build. You you should know. A little bit of, of HTML, alright. So you just uh, after this, you're going to do ten exercise. You're going to do this. Then you will have twenty eight scores, alright. And then tomorrow, uh, and then next week, you're going to learn about CSS. After you learn about CSS, then you you already covered forty four. And then you have this, you have this, and then you learn about JavaScript and everything. So all all this total, you just need to prove to me that you have done two hundred. All right, you have done 200 and then, and then that's it. Right? You, you got your 10 percent of it. So 10 percent project, 10 percent uh, this one. 10 percent free code camp and later I will, I, will, I will show you the rest where that it come from. And then this one uh, is is optional, right? I don't force you. I just share with you to let you know that there is this web, this website and this app which is called solo learn right there's this app and this website which is called solo learn this is quite good right it's quite nice uh it's you can you can use it to read if you'd like to read concepts you you can use this uh, you can use this you can have a look and then you can just uh, uh in addition to what what i teach in class right but but i think free code camp should be sufficient already but but if, if you want extra you can do this and then code academy also is another option, right? So this one also is another option, but normally this one is for self-learn, right? Especially for those 
uh, who 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 do website and then and then you want to do other things as well. Uh, um, there are a few things that I will, uh, I will, after website, we will do apps, right? After website, we do apps, then we do back end. Maybe you want to learn Python, for example, right? You want to learn Python, but I did not cover Python. So you can try to do it over here, right? But this one need uh, some commitment, right? This one is optional as well, optional as well. And then I have this book that, that that is actually they, they call it the main reference for for HTML. even even in, in code academic exercise and everything everyone said that this is the main reference in html and css right so it's, it's by john duke uh html and css book and then there's another one javascript mj curie but this one i don't i don't i don't force you to buy it uh i have i have i have this book uh in, in my office, in my library, but if, if you, uh, you, you, Nila, I, I, I'm not saying because it's, the session is recorded, but if you can find the online version and everything, uh, so it's up to you, but this, this, I just let you know, right, the, the book is there. Okay, and then there is this website which is called W3 School. This is, this is going to be the main reference for, for Friday exercises. All right, when, when you when you when you do the exercises on Friday, right, you, you will need to research a little bit, right? You will need to because I'm I'm only teaching like 30% of, of the thing available. And then and then you come Friday, right? You will have like six uh, the seventy percent that, that I never teach in class. So so on Friday normally there will be a lot of research exercise, but the research exercise normally is only research limited to this page, right? You don't need to go elsewhere. You just need to go to this page, try to look the ref the, the reference are all there. Even if like you Google also, the first link of Google will, will bring to this website, all right? The W3 schools. So this is going to be your reference as well. This, this is going to be your main reference, especially on Friday. And then as you go somewhere on week six or week seven, there is another there there is another uh, website that's going to be uh, our reference, which is called Mozilla. Uh, developer Mozilla is by is by Mozilla Firefox or it's by Mozilla and we're going to use it on week six and week seven all right so these are our two main reference and then I think I we will only we have two or three more slides and then I will I will do some Q and A or right, if you have so this this these are the topic all right that we're going to use on 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 module one, right? This is your week and your topic. I'm going. To, I I might adjust a little bit, right? Because because uh, I was thinking, right? Because you start you start your class on Tuesday, right? You you start your class on Tuesday. I might make some adjustment, but but overall, this was uh, the previous the previous uh, the previous group. This is how they do it. But but I I I, I might make some adjustment, last minute adjustment, All right? Uh, so I will just go through with you. So this week. Today, you get to do introduction to HTML and CSS, or introduction to HTML only, CSS we might do next week. All right, so this is, this is, this is uh, you're going to create a website, this is a structure and everything. Next week, or the following week, yeah, so this is this way, I'm not sure, all right, next week, or the following week, you're going to learn about JavaScript. So this is what makes uh, your website dynamic. So you have week two and week three, you're going to do JavaScript, all right? And then you have HTML and CSS part two, Right, so HTML, you have two parts actually, part one and part two. And then somewhere over here, you're going to, to, to learn bootstrap, right? Which is uh, for, for layout and positioning, right? To make to make your website uh, uh, properly positioned, uh, just like not right, for example, right? it's, it's not, not right as, 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 as benchmark. So by the end of eight week, you should be able to, to build this, this website by the end of uh, week. Uh, week seven, week eight, you should be able to, to create something like this, all right? Uh, so that's uh, week, 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 week four, week four next week, week four, yeah, let's put that week four first. And then week five, you have this thing which is called JavaScript DOM manipulation. And then you have week six and week seven, you're going to learn about Vue.js, all right? And then uh, you're going to learn how to get data from remote server. This is where we, we talk about connecting to Google Doc just now. And then you will have a project, right? HTML5, uh, API, video match your location, and then and then and then uh, that's that's your final week. All right, you're going to do maybe Google Maps uh, a little bit at the end. 
Alright, so that's the topic. Uh, there is this part where I, I color in yellow. Right, why why do I highlight it in yellow? Because some of you might might get uh, some. I, I'm not sure how you heard about us or how you heard about Industry 4.0 uh, Academy. Alright, so you let's see. I, I I put I put a yellow there because I want to highlight. Uh, the difference between whatever that's that is put on the website, uh, and 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 the, the current structure, right? So you might some of you might come from the website, right? Some of you might come here, right? You 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 arrive here and then you see uh, these programs, right? So you, you see these programs. So whatever that I'm highlighting on yellow, right? So this this part is actually the the newer version of Ajax and JQ, right? So there is some difference. Uh, compared to the website, which I'm highlighting here, lah, right? So that's that's the reason uh, I highlight it on yellow to, to show to you that there that there are slight difference uh, than the website. Okay, so last thing, uh, this is this is this finally this is the this is the the, assess, uh, the assessment. All right, so the for your final assessment, uh, you will have it on week seven. So if I follow the calendar that Isha given to me, it's going to be either on the 26th, right? Either it's going to be on the 26th or it's going to be on the Friday on 26th, right? So it's either on the 26th or either it's on the Friday of that week, right? So, so that one, that one we will see. Uh, so you can just, it's going to be on week eight, lah, right? Either it's here. Or I either is going to be on 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 the twenty, uh, on the Friday. All right. So you have final exam. You have A B C D. All right. Then it's going to be thirty percent of your mark. All right. So you will. It's a computer base. Right. You. It's a computer base. And then uh, once you get it, all right. And then and then you will get your score. And then your score you divide by fifty. You times thirty. Right. It's going to be thirty percent of your final mark. And then you will have what we call a whiteboard exam, right? What is the whiteboard exam? Because I, I cannot, well, we call it a whiteboard exam, but there is no whiteboard here. It's going to be a screen exam, all right? It's going to be a screen exam. So what is the screen exam? Screen, uh, the, what is the whiteboard exam? Huh? The, the whiteboard exam is the question that each of you, because, because there is no control, I, I have no control here. All right, you, you do it, I will never know it because you do it from your home. So I'm trying to control it by, by having it here. All right, so this is where I'm, I I'm really want to see if you understand or not. So what will happen during the whiteboard exam is if of you will get a question, all right, only one question, and each of you will have 15 minutes. All right, individually, I will set your time, I will set your name, your time, and then you will have one-to-one -one with me. All right, you will have one-to-one -one with me, and then you, I will ask you a question, all right, that you need to resolve uh, in 15 minutes. All right, I'm going to ask you a question that you need to resolve in 15 minutes. All right, and then this, the question is, is actually something that is related to week two, week three, something that is related to JavaScript. All right, uh, so so uh, if you can do it in 15 minutes, then you have the 30 marks already. All right, if you don't have, if you don't get it, or if you don't get it, you might want to change question and everything. So that's why I'm going to re reduce your point. All right, you change question, I reduce your point. Uh, you you reduce you 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 change your question again, then I reduce reduce, reduce your point. So is is idea you you carry it or you don't carry it, right? If you don't get it, normally you have to change question. Right? So that's that's where, uh, that's where that's where that's how you get uh, your 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 thirty percent lah. And then you have the forty percent continuous. So what where does it come from? Number one is come from your project one, right? My CV and portfolio. That's how I was right. I was supposed to put that number one. And then your project two, right? Your booking website is going to be project two. And then you have your free code camp exercises just now, the one that I mentioned, uh, two hundred exercises. So on the last day of of the class, on the last day of the class, you just need to show to me that you have done two hundred exercises. That's it, right? Some well, I can show you now, uh, what my my uh, because because. Uh, I'm doing this with my intern as well, so I can show you now what my intern is doing. So, so they they just need to show me, like, right? I say that oh, this week, uh, 
uh, you, you have to do 110. Then they say, all right, I have done 110 exercises. So you just need to show the screenshot then, then you get your, you, you, you show me that you have done 200, then you get your 10% already. And then every time after class, right, you just need to update your code to GitHub. All right, so you're going to upload your code to GitHub. Every time after class, if, right, if, there is every if you update it consistently. So basically, I will show you. All right, uh, on the last day, I will ask you. Uh, show me week one code. Just just show the file and everything. Show me week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven. So if everything is uploaded properly, then you have the, your ten points. All right. So that's uh, that's the final mark. Huh? So how how is going to be? Right? 30, 30, and then you have forty here. The one that the one that changed everything actually, I think, is this part. Huh? This two. All right, so that's the structure. So my my last advice before we go serious, all right? So the key is just like Nike. Every day you have just to do it. All right? Every day you have to do it. So 10 minutes per, uh, sorry, one hour per day or 10 free code camp questions per day, right? Try to be consistent. And then normally normally you should be fine uh, by, by the end of the two, 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 two or six months. All right, any questions about the structure? Okay, let me check. Huh? So I have everyone's email. Or I have everyone's email. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so tomorrow, all right, tomorrow, not today. Huh? Today, 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 you will not have it. Tomorrow, as you can see on, on my first page, all right, uh, tomorrow before class, if I do remember, uh, sorry, not tomorrow, Friday, uh, uh, Friday, all right, Friday, before class, check your email, all right, Friday or earlier, check your email, you will be invited to Slack, all right, I like, uh, normally I, I centralize all my work here, all right, on Slack, uh, there, I'm not sure if some of you might use it, some of you might see it the first time, all right? I, I centralize all my work here, and then all your message and everything I can, I can, I can just, all right, I can just put it here, and you can ask question, question here, and everything, right? So the reason why, the reason why I use it because first of all, it's for me, right? So it's easier for me to check everything, easier for me to, my work is here, my office is here, my 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 class is here, everything is here. That's number one, lah. But number two, importantly, it is developer friendly, right? It's developer friendly. So let's say that, for example, right, you want to copy paste code, all right? So there is this thing that you just, uh, uh, you have this code formatting part. Right? You have this code formatting part, uh, and then and then and then I can just uh, paste the code here, and then and then and then it will come up. All right? Actually, it makes different, lah. If if you paste here and you paste on normal chat. Sometimes it make a difference, right? Sometimes either double code, uh, different everything. Not yet, Miss Wah. Uh, uh, not yet installed or not yet. No, this one is for Friday. Eh? This one Friday before class. Uh, you you can check your email. I I uh, you you should be invited to Slack. And then and then it's easier, lah, right? So, uh, you can just PM me. You can ask questions because I always open this. Unfortunately, uh, or oh, not yet having any questions, right? All right. Unfortunately, I don't open Teams to uh, 24 hours. All right. I don't open Teams every uh, the entire time, but I open Slack the entire time. All right. But sometimes you 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 Slack me also. Sometimes I don't reply also. Like, hey, why you reply? I I open it all the times, but sometimes I check it. Uh, and the end of the day, I, I check all my all my pending message lah. All right. So if you message here, is 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 easier for me to reply than, uh, than here. All right. So that's for Friday. Friday you will be invited to Slack. Okay, anything else? I think that's about it. All right, that's about it. Yeah. So no questions uh, from Ash. Up Ash just now, right? The others, any questions? Actually, just now. Actually, uh, ah. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, just want to confirm lah, kan? Ah. Uh. Okay, so maksudnya kita punya marker akan ada daripada final exam. Maksudnya final exam ni yang uh, whiteboard tu akan ada dengan selim belas thirty minutes. So apa-apa questions akan tanya dekat whiteboard tu lah, betul lah. Eh? Betul. Okay, so another lagi, apa, lagi 40% tu, uh, kita kena buat dua projek, satu CV dengan website, dengan kita kena update dekat GitHub, dan satu lagi kita kena buat exercise dekat free code camp eh. Betul. Uh, okay, tu je lah nak, nak, nak ni je lah. Cuma, cuma, itu, itu, uh, 
Cuma yang projek tu, the project tu minggu ke enam baru you boleh buat. Ah, okay, faham. Ah, sebab, sebab dia punya projek tu, the project, you can only do it on week six. Why? With the UI you can do earlier. But the project you have to use UJS. So, so ada, ada, there are some, some ni lah dekat, there are some, some requirement at the end. Normally, the project need to be done on UJS. Oh, okay, faham. So, that, so that's why, that's why you, you can, week six and week seven, then only you can do it. Okay. Just want to ask opinion saya eh? macam saya kan saya memang background non coding daripada accounting. Hmm. So jadi apa uh, kalau untuk wawan ni kalau kita nak buat latihan pergi dekat free code camp je lah eh untuk buat exercise ha. semua tu. Buat pergi je free code camp. Ha okey cool. Buat je everything. I think I uh, actually not not no need to worry lah you are not the only one yang tak ada background macam sebelum ni semua orang tak ada background. Pilot <laughs> pun ada. So okay. buat tu ya do it every day. So I think uh, hari tu there, there is one student I think geology or something. Eh? You find it. That's the record. Eh? 350 exercises free code camp. Maksudnya, he really do it 10 hari-hari. Dia memang buat 10 lah hari-hari kan. 350 exercises. So, yang lain tu cuma cukup kerja kemarin. Eh? Everyone else is like 200, 200 and then that one guy. Eh, betul-betul lah you do 350. So, it means that he really do 10, 10, 10 exercises seperti. Uh, so, hmm. dia punya tu tu kena buat hari-hari je. Right, dia punya tu key tu kena buat hari-hari je. Okay, noted sir. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. What if cloud, kalau like halfway, um, kita ni macam slow in uh, catching Yeah. Even though dah buat exercise and all that. So, kalau, kalau slow. Because we don't have any background, right? So, yeah, we don't know what we do know. And, um, you know, the progress is a bit slow. How is that? Uh, I think uh, if, uh, how uh, do I know. Let me think. There's just some I, I, I can think about it. Okay. The problem, normally, right? Normally, Let to be honest, I I I I memang dah biasa tau. I I used to I used to bukanlah nak cakap slow. Memang semua tak ada background. Right? All this while I only have I have only have like 10, 20% with background, and then 80% no background. I used to it already. Alright, so that's why I I don't think that that's a problem. The problem here is kan the problem. That's why I'm not pointing out, but this is previously the problem is when you miss class. That's that's the problem. If let's say that it, it happens, uh, even sometimes for me also, I, I I miss class and then I have to cancel, uh, right? I have to cancel, but I have the, I have the privilege to cancel. But you you don't have the privilege. If you miss class, you miss class, lah. So that's 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 normally uh, the problem. Kalau you ter miss class, uh, bahaya, right? So if you miss class, just now I give you three four reference, kan? You have to like really catch up. Sebab the, the, I don't think the, the, normally if you follow everything, no problem. Dia memang, dia memang the structure is already tested for five years. But what what we saw is when you miss class, dia, kalau ada student yang termiss class, you have to put double effort. You have to watch the video back. And then kadang-kadang watch the video so it's not sufficient because it's not the same as 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 being in class. Uh, then that, that that's where you have your solo learn and everything. That's the option that I have. Right? So normally kan, If you termis class, something happen or something, you just need to come back to me. As oh, termis class lah. I watch your video and I do what. You, you you normally normally you can do what do three benda lebih. As if you consistently, if you come to class and I no issue right. Normally, I I don't I I might I might not see any problem lah because because I dah jumpa ramai orang. But the problem will happen kalau termis class sikit. Uh, kalau tiba tiba kan ada benda berlaku. Something happens. That's that's normally you need to to alert yourself. And then I I tell you in advance, yang paling susah, the difficult part is this topic. All right. So this is the most difficult part. So at least for the next two three weeks, right? Uh, you you have to pay really attention. Ini tak apa. And if you miss, I'm not I'm not saying that ini tak apa. This is like introduction and everything. Ah, we I try to go very light here. And then here also, I, I try to go very light, right? But but this this week two and week three is the fundamentals. Uh, kalau kal if if you termis class or something, this is where if you think that oh week two week three week two week three going to be very hard, but but uh, that's normal. But if you termis kau, that's 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 you have to pay attention a little bit lah. Alright, you have to just. This one is difficult. This one in this week is the most difficult one, and then. Uh, yang ini susah juga. This one is hard, but but if you miss it, uh, you this one, alright. This one, this one is quite is hard, alright. But uh, but if you miss this, alright, you have you have to pay attention 
which week six and week seven. Uh, in, in, in week six and week seven. So this one, this one we just put, yeah. so either kalau termis ni, uh, you have to, you have to make up, make up here. But this one, uh, uh, have to uh, really understand. All right, this one also have to really understand. So that's, that's, I'm, I'm telling you in advance the, the critical, the critical week. And then let, let me tell you what's on my mind as well, so that you can, you can, you can set your expectation. So I'm going to confirm with you what we do next week because in my mind for you guys it might be like this. Eh? So because because of we start on 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 Tuesday, right? So in my mind for you guys it's going to be like this. But, but, but this one I to be confirmed on Friday. Right, to be confirmed on Friday. So that's my answer. I have. It. I hope it satisfy you. But uh, normally, do lah. Where can we find the video uh, in case uh, you miss the class? It's on Teams. So the video will be uploaded to Teams. So you have this files part, all right? Inside files, uh, and then you you will have uh, class materials. Uh, it's it, your video will be here, all right? But but your notes and everything will be on on Slack. So don't no problem. The, 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 the zero knowledge is not an issue. The issue ni kalau kalau tiba tiba something happen, that's itu yang you can macam ni. It happens to a lot of people. Like it happens to me sometimes as well. So that one you have to like. I tak jaga 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 kalau kalau ada something happen. Okay. Any other questions? I think it's already seven thirty. Uh, Margaret, uh, today, uh, okay, so I will just break now. It's already 7.30. Uh, uh, it's going to be 25 minutes. Lah. All right, 20 minutes. Uh, you can have a, your quick dinner, Maghrib, and then, and then, and then 7.20, 7.55, all right, we will start back. I really berkira the five minutes I could just stay in, but not not do it for for be, be long long me. Uh, oh, just now, just now I was I was uh, I was putting here. Sorry, baru teringat. Kan? Your your break to twenty to thirty minutes uh, because sometimes you have exercise, right? Sometimes you have exercise. So I need to do five minutes because there is no exercise. But tomorrow, if you have if you have exercise, it will be longer break. Right? Uh, so that's the thing. Okay, any questions? Last. Okay, just make sure that after break, uh, subline is installed. Uh, once once subline is installed, then 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 we will do subline right away. Okay.
Okay, give me one minute because because suddenly my suddenly my Windows my Mac. Uh, All right, sorry, I was saying my, my PC, my Mac hang for a while. So then the next Sunday I was turned off. Okay, I saw Shamin, uh, what's the question? Okay. Uh. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I, I just want to show you. Mm. Uh, sorry, but uh, I join your class guna apa ni kan, guna iPad, lepas tu I guna Mac untuk, untuk ni lah, untuk buat kerja. Uh. Okay, cuma nak, just nak tunjuk dekat untuk free code cam, dia kata dia pasal privacy lah saya. Nampak tak? You have not made, you need to change your privacy in order for you, for you to be seen by others. It's a preview of how your portfolio will make. You have made not, ni, uh, you have made not made your portfolio. Mana? Uh, cuma tengok atas, uh, uh, actually I, I, I rasa tak apa. Tu dekat free code cam, is it? Ah, ni dekat free code cam sebab saya attach dengan GitHub. So dia kata tiba-tiba pasal privacy tu Pak ya. Guna Mac ni banyak benda privacy kan. Oh ni ini kat free code cam ni je. Mana benda dia? Uh, privacy set. Privacy setting free code cam. Saya pun tak pernah saya pun tak pernah link ke GitHub. Uh, Ataupun pun just sign up guna email baru je saya. Uh, kalau sign up guna email baru pun tak apa. Ha. Uh. Oh, boleh eh. Boleh boleh ya. Okay. Alright. Yes, okay. Okay. So, uh, let's continue. Right. How, how many on Mac? How many on ni? So, double. Uh, we don't need to do it. Siapa pakai Mac? Who use Mac? Say yes, you use Mac. Uh. Siapa pakai Mac? Eh? So, Syamir pakai Mac. Uh, Ash, kan? Ash pakai Mac. Two person pakai Mac. Two person use Mac. So, the others I assume on Windows. Eh? So, Mac Mac is easier. I'm so sorry. I'm using Macs. If, 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 right? if, if uh, I have to describe it, uh, you, you have to under, you have to really understand how I describe it. Nanti around along the way, you you try along the way. Kalau ada problem, I need some some of you to share screen, right? For for uh, to to show to become assistant teacher uh, along the way. How to share screens? That is very important. That's the first thing that you need to learn, right? So after this, I will call your name. You try share your screen. Uh, just just near. Uh, yeah, just uh share your screen and then uh for for a while i'm just one one minute only share your screen i don't i don't see any i don't want to see anything i just want to see that you are able to share your screen all right so you have this mic all right so you have this this mic button okay and then next to the mic button you have you have the petak all right you have the, the square so that's that's the share your screen button all right when you select share your screen they will ask you either you want to share the windows 
or you want to share the entire screen normally you just share the entire screen i i'm not kepuchi i i i i don't I, i'm not going to see whatever you are doing uh i just want to see if you have quotes problem normally you you share your screen that will be very fast uh, for me to look all right or you will use slack or right? either you do that or you copy paste your code on slack right? so let's try uh let's try one by one desmond just share one second five seconds on your screen see if you are able to do it Okay, there you go, Gloria. All right. So then, I will just take it back. Uh, then you can stop now, right? Uh, uh, RB, can I share screen? Let's see. Okay, got it. Choi Chi Hao, Choi Chi Hao. Uh. Ada Choi Chi Hao. It's just now I saw patch, patch 77. So that's the reason why I asked, because I want to check permission as well. So at the same time, I'm checking your permission. Uh, it's like, okay, all right. Okay, now one second, two seconds. Okay, got it. Then you have, thank you, Joel. Joel? Joel is Joel's boss. Okay, I, I saw the email. Try to see uh, if you can do it or not. Okay. Okay, Joel, okay. Then you have K7. Okay, press here, K7. Okay, K7 only, okay. All right, okay, got it. Uh, Shamil, Shamil tadi said you, you are on iPad, right? Ah, tapi kalau ia, if you are on iPad, if you need to share your screen, then you, you buka dua PC ya. So just now you are on iPad. If you need to share your screen, you just open two teams lah. Uh, no no problem. Masuk dua pun tak apa. Right. Oh ha. boleh saya? Ah ha, boleh masuk dua pun tak apa. Ha. Kita nak tanya kan bila bila jelah sebelum ni kita guna ni kan kita guna Microsoft. Hmm. Lepas tu guna Mac kan. Lepas tu kan macam nak alternate tab kan. Ha. So nanti dia punya team tu hilang tau. Tapi lepas tu nak cari balik tak jumpa. Macam mana? Ha. Ha. Itulah biasanya kat, oh uh, kalau team tu hilang, team tu dekat bawah biasanya. Dekat bawah eh? Ha aku uh, Macam ni kan, uh, team tu dia kat sini. Oh, sorry, I'm not sharing my screen eh. Okay, ni kan, saya buka ni kan. Uh, team, team tu team tu sebenarnya dekat sini. Kiri ni, uh, ni lah team. Oh, dekat kiri tu? Ha, uh, team dekat kanan bawah ni lah. Uh. Oh, okay. Alam uh, mula-mula ni kan, mula-mula uh, ni kalau tak, kalau you reti nanti, you, you reti lah main alternative, alternative tab. Mula-mula uh, hmm. ni, mula-mula ni lah, tapi kalau tak dia main alternative tab je nanti. Okay. Sebenarnya boleh apa? Actually uh, ni ah mula uh, I I think I think for the first few weeks also you you can can find out how how is it comfortable. Like for example just now one person using iPad, some of some of some of some of the student I know dia apa plug into TV lah or pinjam TV into apa uh, second monitor or anything. So find a way to make it comfortable lah. Okay. Some of uh, some of them screenshot, uh, some of them screenshot my code and everything, and just just find a way for you to make uh, comfortable. Okay, so dari Shami dah, Raja Ruban, Raja Ruban. It's okay, Raja Ruban ada. Okay, boleh. Amirul Amin. Okay, Diana, no Diana. Okay, email ada lah, Diana lah, cuba cari lah, Diana. Okay, tu jap. 
Okay, and then tan ki n ya. Eh? Okay, all right. So everyone, everyone know where where to find me, and then, uh, 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 Kim, uh, Kian, can you reshare your screen? Blah blah lagi. I I I only show it to you. All right, I only show it to you. But but the rest, boleh boleh. Can you reshare your screen, Kian? Since you are the last one, okay. And then from my from my PC also, all right, from my PC I can do this. Ah, uh, request control. Sometimes it come out. Sometimes it does not come 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 out. So you you should see. Should we think on top, on top of ni? Can you see anything? Ah, wait ya. Yeah, on top of ni. Okay, you don't see anything. Ah, uh, cuba uh, change that one. Change settings. You uh, uh, no, you don't see anything. Ah, uh, right. Ah, uh, tap. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, Tabo. What what I suggest you to do as well because I saw that uh, key N is on uh, is on ni uh, Chrome man. So I recommend you to download. I recommend you to download uh, ni. But but I, what what I want to show is actually again. Uh, now I also don't know how how it it really comes out because normally I'm the one uh, who request control. There is this thing which is called request control. Right. Uh, nanti, nanti. When, whenever you're sharing your screen, I can reshare. I, I can show with you. So, request control means I want to control your computer. All right. Again, I'm control computer. Not I want to do something. I just want to open codes. All right. Check your codes and everything. Sometimes I cannot see it. Then I need to really like to type on your on your PC. All right. So that one, uh, Teams Teams uh, Teams punya function is is there. So that's, that's something that I will keep using from time to time as well. All right, so if you are ready, uh, the first thing that we, you're going to do, all right, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to structure your project first. You're going to structure your folder. All right, so what you're going to do now, right, very, very simple, nothing to do with programming yet. You're going to go to my documents or documents. All right, you're going to my documents and documents. All right, this one, this one simple. Huh? You're going to my documents or documents folder. All right, so you open your uh, file explorer or your finder. You're going to create a new file. Right, you're going to create. So you're going to create a new folder. All right, so on Mac, uh, file new folder. On on Windows, right click new folder. You're going to call it. Industry 4.0 or batch 24. Right, I'm going to call it batch 24 because you are the 24th batch. So one year I have one year I have three for three. I have four batches, one three, four batches, one year. Four batches. Four five five four five batches. So you are the batch 24. So six batches per year. So you are batch 24. Right. Right. So inside batch 24 folder, all right, so this will be your project folder. This is, this is going to be for, for this class folder. If you go to under another class or if you do somewhere else, you're going to create another pro folder. You're going to create here module one, all right? It's okay, even you even if you only take the, the website, you, you're going to call it module one anyway, all right? So, so you create batch 24, you create module one, all right? Inside this module one folder, then you're going to create another folder, and that folder is called week one. Right, so you're going to structure it to be like this. The reason why I do this because I have ten students. Well, if ten students put different project different place, then later when when you have problem, it's hard for me to find to help you. All right, so let's let's keep it structured from the beginning. So you go, everyone will put the file, the folder inside my documents. Inside my documents, you're going to create a new folder which is called batch 24. 
inside batch 24, you're going to create another folder, module one. It's okay even if you're only taking uh, the web one, you just put module one there. Inside that, you put another folder, week one, and that's where we're going to put all the files that we're going to create today and Friday. All right, and then next week, you're going to create another folder here, week two. You're going to put all your files there, right? Week three, week four, week five, week six, and week seven, right? And then later as well, can uh, master on the last day, all right? On the last day, you need to upload your code. You can just make sure that everything inside the folder is uploaded to GitHub. All right, so once you have that, all right, once you have this, everyone clear? So if okay, you can just type quickly, type okay. All right, I think I, uh, Baba, let me can grant request. I think can. Uh, oh, this one is yeah. Uh, uh, all right, I think can do it. Guess admin. Ini uh, Ash. Apa tadi ni Ash? Uh, untuk apa? Uh, share screen is it? Sorry, untuk what? what? Share huh? screen. Share oh, you screen. you can share screen right? Sorry. You can share screen just now, right? I can share screen, tapi kalau nak request. Oh, uh, okay. I can I can request. You can request. Okay. Uh, so just now, just now, I was, just now you, I was supposed to buat the uh, key in the end, but for key, it might be the uh, Chrome, all right? So I suggest you to use the Teams punya ni, yeah? I, I suggest you to, to use Teams, uh, uh, Teams, Teams. So everyone, I uh, just make sure tomorrow, uh, before Friday, uh, I encourage to download uh, Teams punya folder file, all right? Okay, so we are here. We're going to open Sublime. When you open Sublime, well, it's not going to be like this. All right, for you guys, it's going to be, but this is my code. All right, this is how my code is. So, so you're going, it's going to be empty like this. All right, for you guys, it's going to be empty like this. And then you're going to do file, save as, all right, file, save as, and then you're going to call it index.html and you're going to save it in the folder that we created just now All right so you're going to save it in the module one with one folder All right pay attention huh? index.html i kecil h kecil or i small letter h small letter and then press pressive, right? So this is how you start to create a HTML, a website code. Okay, so, uh, okay, you're going to open Sublime, all right, you're going to open Sublime, then you do file, save as, all right, file, save as. After you do file save as, you're going to look back the folder just now. So just now we created a folder, right? Batch 24, module 1, week 1. All right, you're going to open that folder and you call it index.html. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay, boleh ya? Okay, yeah. Okay, so get some one, yeah. All right, got it. Uh, so file, save as. Uh, look for, look for in uh, the folder just now. Index to HTML. All right, Mulia, can. Okay, after you do that, you're going to type H HTML. All right, you're going to type HTML. Then you look at your keyboard. Next to Q, there is this button which is called tab. You press tab. All right, HTML. And then you press tab. Tab is the button next to Q on your keyboard. After you have that, you will have this code. Okay, so after you have HTML, you press tab, you will have this code. This is what we call the structure of an application. Right? This is the structure of your application. 
Give me one more minutes. Give me one more minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to okay. Let me share this now. Eh? Okay, I uh, you open the so oh, you I'm I'm sorry, but but you just open this this full this this empty ni, alright. This empty ni is actually so from time to time, right? I might explain and everything again. I sometimes I just like to copy paste the thing, alright. So I do, I don't want to catch out. I don't want to catch. I don't want to disturb my main slide. So from time to time, as I'm explaining, you 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 imagine this as your your whiteboard. You imagine it as your whiteboard, alright. So this. This is what we call structure of all right an HTML website. How do we do it on subline? We do HTML, all right? Uh, type HTML and then plus tab, all right? So press the tab keyboard, all right? Then you will get it. All right. So there are two parts, all right? The first part is the one that you have here, all right? Whatever that is under this one hit all right so you have this this is what you don't see on the browser okay and then you have over here in between body all right body and then you have h uh, the hit all right this is what you see on the browser right what you see in the browser Right, so I don't do over there. So this one, whatever that is in between body, and then whatever that in between hit, right? You you press and you see, yeah, it's a pair in between. So let's say that for the title, right? You put here my first website, all right? For the title, you put my first website, and then for for the body, you put H one tap. All right, see yeah. H1 tab, and then you put here hello world. All right, once you're done, just update me. Okay, all right. If you don't mind, bigger your screen, please. Okay, all right. Uh, I cannot big my screen, but I can. I can big this. Huh? Uh, so I can big. Uh, I can make it. I can make my I can make the code bigger. The screen cannot, right? The screen cannot. Not the screen cannot. When, uh, but the, the code can be bigger, right? Okay. So this is the the, the structure, all right? This is this this is this is a simple website. How we are going to open it now? You are going back to your your finder. Or your or your your your, your 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 files just now. You double click on the index.html file. It should be open inside a new tab. All right. So as what I mentioned here. All right. Whatever that is in between body is what you can see on the white area. All right. So you see hello world here. Whatever that you put in between head, something that you cannot see. So where does this come from? Or where 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 does this? Uh, where what is this? All right, this is actually the title that you can actually see here. So for for Mac, I say like this, but for Windows, it's going to be on your on your bar. All right. So that's your first HTML code. All right. That's your first HTML code. We start with the structure. All right, we start with the structure. How to do the structure? We do HTML plus tag. All right, this is the structure. And then you learned about the type, the, the hit as well. All right, the hit is not things that you don't see. Things that you don't see, All right? 
this is normally uh, the configuration. All right, then you have title. All right, title is the app, what are the title in the app bar? Title in the app bar. Then you have body. All right, body is whatever in the white area. All right, and then I'm going to the next page. All right, we start with H1. H1 is the heading. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a H2 pula. H2 tag. This is subheading 2. All right. And then you do H3 tag. This is subheading 3. All right. So you keep doing it until H6. All right. Once you do H6, save and then refresh your, your website just now. So you save, and then you refresh this page. Right? For example, this one uh, is, is refresh. Okay, so do it quickly for two minutes. All right, H1 until H6. H7, H8, the other, all right? It's only stop at seven, uh, H6. I have a dream Your screen stuck. You cannot see. You couldn't see. Uh, can uh, can you try to leave and come back? Uh, try to stop and leave and come back. And as you see, uh, so if that's uh, if your screen stuck, try to leave and come back. Uh, I will wait. Yeah, eh, no, anti six. Uh, they only have six, seven. That other. No. Desmond, okay. Uh. Still, Desmond still stuck. I can do so. I can. Uh, I can copy this first. Okay, uh, so Baba, I, I copy paste as well. Uh, and then we and then and then and then yeah. okay. 
Alright, tak apa. As he's doing it, because I saw everyone go sampai 6, alright? H4, tap, alright? So, this is subheading 4, alright? Then I have H5, tap. This is subheading 5. And then you have H6, tap, alright? This is subheading uh, six, alright. Because I was like, oh, hati hati, no. When you try to do H seven tap, dia tak jadi ya. After you do H seven tap, it does not work because it's not a valid HTML tap. Alright, that's why I cannot tap. Right, you can only do it until H six. Alright, refresh, and then somewhere over here, I will put H two. Until H6. Alright. This is what we call the subhead. Right, this is what we call the subheading or subtitle. So what is this? What is all this? I assume that, alright, I assume that you've you've worked with Microsoft of uh, Microsoft Doc before. Alright, I assume that you, you've worked with Microsoft Doc before. Or you uh, you you might you might work with uh, um, drive like me. Eh? You might work you, you could drive like me. All right. So I just I just this is just random random things that 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 I I get from my 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 company stuff. But, but but I just take it randomly. Yeah. So this is not this is normally a document, right? But normally what what we do inside a document. I will put all right. This is my sales script uh, for my company, anak to you, right? So this is normally a sales script for anak to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight and I'm going to put the, this a title, all right? I'm going to format it, all right? In a way, I'm going to format it. I will put a title here. All right. So this one I put sales script, all right? Uh, scenario one and then what I'm going to put here I'm going to put it as a subtitle all right heading one all right subtitle or heading one I'll put it here all right and then then I will put it uh, uh, this is actually uh, uh, in uh, to start all right start start to start start script Right, start script. All right. So this is the chart. This is the subheading of of this. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put here heading two. All right, because this, this is the the chart. Uh, so this one is the follow up script. Follow up script, and then this one I will put subheading two. Okay, and then and then you have and then, and then this is scenario two, all right? So you see scenario one is in English, all right? And then my scenario two is in in uh, in, in Malay, yeah? scenario two, uh, Malay. All right. So this one is actually the same level as this one. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put heading one, all right. So this start script, all right. Start script. It's going to be heading two, and then and then and then you get the idea, all right. So this is what what I'm calling here is I'm formatting my document. So it's the same thing as well as what what is you what do you have here, all right? So in web programming, all right. In web in web website development, so HTML, all right, which is is the structure of an application, all right, all right, where you define the heading, you will see a lot of similarity with, with, with the Google Docs, lah. paragraph, and then you will define the bullet and numbering, uh, image, etc., images, etc., all right, so that's the rule of HTML. Right. Just now I was, I was introducing you, yeah. all right, this is HTML, we do using CSS. So let's go back to my document, all right, let's go back to my document. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this. This is heading two. I'm going to change the color to, to, to blue, all right, I'm going to change the color to, to, to blue. 
All right. Once I change the color to blue, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the style to apply heading three, update heading two to match. All right. Because what, what will happen after I do this, all the heading two will be in blue. All right. So this is this is something that you might see every day. So what I'm doing now is I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing the styles. All right. So this one I, I might. I want to make it in the center. I might want to change the font to uh, to this, all right? And then I will apply the style uh, to heading one, all right? Then all my heading one will be like that, right? So this is the styling, all right? This is the styling of, of my documents. So it's going to be the same thing as well in, uh, in a website, all right? So website. Uh, rules and responsibility, you know, the web strike element. Eh? You have CSS, all right. CSS, it takes care of the styling in a website, all right. So, for example, the color, background uh, color, you have your font. Uh, paragraphing, all right, and layout. All right, so that's the rule of CSS. And then just now you introduce to HTML, you introduce CSS, there's the last part, which is JavaScript. Then you have JavaScript. What makes our website dynamic? All right, so it's including the uh, and uh, including uh, answer to the question right, when this this when this this happens all right do this right, when this one is this is x law right x, anything happens do xx all right uh, easy for example when the button is click all right Maybe uh, uh, open a new page, right? Open a new page. Or when the page is loaded, right? Uh, uh, show something. So uh, there is this one website that I will always use it as an example, which is called A Asia Big. This this is part of this is part of my my old project on previous company. So I'm sorry if I keep using the same X. Well, this is the first time that you saw it, but I'm going to you're going to see it. You're going to keep seeing it because it's the website that I'm aware of. All right. So I'm going to open a Asia Big. So you see, yeah, there is a loading screen here. When the page is loaded, when the page is loading, show the loading screen. All right. Unfortunately, it takes a while. Uh, I think something is wrong with the website as well. Let me open. All right. Then you have this thing. All right. You have this thing coming out. And then see, yeah, this is something. This is I like the dynamic of the website. Every five seconds, change banner. All right. So every five ten seconds, change banner. All right. Every five seconds, change banner. All right. So that's 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 answering to the questions. When dot 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 happen, do something. When and then, uh, to, uh, I'm looking for a flight. Is it here? No. Where is it here? Where, where was it? Uh, they changed the website a little bit, so I'm I'm kind of lost. I think it, it might be here. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. Where is it? Yeah, they changed the website a little bit. Uh, I think I think the the website element is not there yet. Uh, it's not there already. Uh, Let's go to the normal AHU website. This one, the AHU one, I, I didn't build yeah. I only built. No, I not I my my team, right? My my previous team only built that one, but not this one. So let's see if it's still there. Okay, so let's say that I do my booking. Not not my booking. I will do flight. All right. So you see, uh, when I select Kuala Lumpur, all right, the, the dynamic data. So I start to look for Kuala Lumpur. Uh, pinning, pinning, pinning. 
well is uh, well uh, well just just ignore it because i cannot find a good example of dynamic data here because that one is not dynamic uh uh just just ignore the the thing all right previously it was it was there on asia big but since they changed i think they hide the website part because the the the, the, the kapal terbang is no longer moving but but normally normally the search part is dynamic right but you see at least at least at least all right, every five seconds it's moving uh, 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 these these are some of the criteria of of a dynamic website. Right, all this is being handled by 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 JavaScript. Right, where all this being handled by JavaScript. Right. So today we focus on HTML. All right. For today we focus on HTML. You already seen H1. You already seen H2. The next thing is to create a paragraph. How to create a paragraph? P tab. All right, P, tap, and then you're going to create, you're going to write a long paragraph. All right, you're going to write a long paragraph. Perenggan, ah. you're going to write a long perenggan. But it's okay, you just need to type, you just need to type this. L-O-R-E-M, the L is small L. All right, L-O-R-E-M, the L is small M, and then you press tap. And then uh, Sublime will automatically generate a long paragraph for you, all right? A subline will automatically generate a long paragraph for you, all right? It does not make sense. It's just for for you to learn, huh? It's just for you to learn. It's just for you to, uh, to put data and everything, all right? And then you press save, and then you see that it's coming out, all right? I'm going to add one more paragraph, and then lorem tap, lorem tap, all right? Now I have two paragraphs. And then I will stop now. All right. So if you have any questions, I will just pause for one, two minutes, and then after that we will continue. Sure, sure, sorry. Hello. Hello. Dengar dengar. Ah, nak tanya kan? Yang yang pasal apa paragraf tu? Saya dah tekan P. Lepas tu kan kita apa dah tek dah 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 seluruh titik kan? Tapi dia tak keluar pun macam ni. Seluruh itu. Lorem kan? L-O-R-E-M kan? Haa, betul. Okey, saya repeat lah. Cuba tengok nanti ya. L-O, ini ya. L-O-R-E-M. Tak ada titik tau. L-O-R-E-M. L kecil ya. Okey. Tap. Tak jadi juga lah. Tak jadi ya. Tak jadi. Kenapa? Test screen. Tapi dia kena klik P dulu and then baru tap. Ah, kena buat P dulu lah. Haa, kena buat P dulu. Then tap. Okey. Cuba tengok. L-O-R-E-M. Okey. Kita buat. Dulu kan? Ha, P, tap. Okay, lepas tu tekan. Lorem, L-O-R-E-M. Jangan tap dulu lah. Tengok dulu, saya tengok dulu. Okay, tekan tap. Tekan dua kali. Oh, tu macam. Oh, oh okay, ha, okay, okay. Tak apa, so tekan tap lah. Bukan enter. Ha, bukan enter. Tap lah, tap lah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Alright, so lorem, what is lorem? Lorem is a long paragraph. Huh? It's just avoiding you to, to write. Kalau tak, you yang kena. If not, you have to copy paste and everything. Yeah. But, but this is this very, very typical in software and, and, and also design. Huh? If anyone did design, it's very typical in, in design. Okay, so let me just berehat kejap, satu minit, and then, and then, and then we will continue. Yes, uh, okay, seven. Kisah pun ada question. Ah, it's okay. Kalau ada question, just type or you can see the question lah. Okay. Kalau uh, if you have issue, you you share your screen and then I can we can check directly. Ah.
Okay, try it. Okay, just go to subline. Okay, I can see. Uh. Okay, I see, I see. Uh. Right, go to subline. Okay, okay. Uh, to that one, I think you tap enter. Okay, go back, uh, lower room. Okay, don't enter. Go So you go up, up. So delete back. So, uh, yeah, I think me yeah. Like, okay, so yeah, it's hanging from, from my side. I think uh, Kesab, uh, Kesab is hanging. Uh, I cannot see it. Can you reshare the screen? I already turned off my my video. Uh, to save it. So, low room is for you to get uh, for you to get a text, a long text without need, needing to type the long text. That's what low room is. It's just for you to have a long text. It's okay, uh, without needing to type the long text. Okay, try. Uh, okay, if it's uh, okay, uh, lorem tap. If not, you you can reshare your screen. Just now I thought enter. Okay, one more time. Ah. Uh. Okay, I see it now. You uh, open sublime. Okay, type uh low uh, p two. You have to okay. Well, uh, no, we delete back. Start from P, yeah. Start from P. Okay, P. Tap. Ah, uh, no, don't, don't, don't type like that. Don't type like that. Until, uh, until, until you forgot. P. Tap. Uh, tap. Okay, go back. P. Type P. Okay, go to go, check your keyboard next to Q, ah, uh, sebelah Q, ah. Uh. So sebelah Q, press that step. Okay, cuba tekan. Okay, yeah. next to P, next to the letter Q, that's tap. Uh, press tap. Eh, hey, it's showing the space. Hmm. Okay, Can you make the subline bigger? Okay, so, okay, I want to see. Body, body. Okay. Cuba tengok uh, line 8. Alright, you see line 8 there. Alright. Uh, uh, okay, that one is okay. Uh, delete that three uh, three things behind that. Alright, that one is okay. H2 is okay. H3 is okay. Alright, try one more time on line 11. Enter. Press enter. Okay, save first. Control S. Save it first. Uh, Control S. Uh, 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 you go to file. Okay, save. Okay, try one more time. P. Okay, type P. Tap. Sebelah Q. Ah. Hmm, kenapa ya? Wait a minute. Ah. Wait a minute. I have not to uh, how I'm going to do. How I'm going to do. Okay, P, uh, as a uh, uh, so tap. Okay, uh, select the first P. Select the first P. Uh, enter. All right, lorem. How do you do uh, lorem? All right, tap. Ah, okay, okay, dah lantun. All right, uh, you got it. Uh. After that, everything you do like that. I'm not sure what. Uh, after this, uh, you do like that. Okay, clear uh, for low room. I, I, uh, I need job. I, I close my, my video because just now I think some of our friends hanging. Uh, nanti kalau, if, if I don't code, 
I, I open back, all right? If, if I'm coding, I, I close it. Eh? Uh, so because when I'm coding, you need to see my mouth, lah, tangan and everything. But, but I'll just close it now uh, to help you with the, to save the bandwidth a little bit, okay? All right, so that's, uh, any other questions before we move to the next part? I will just update uh, my, my slide a little bit. So we already, this is uh, my whiteboard, right? I call it my whiteboard. So we have done H1, we have done H2 to H6. All right, now we have, uh, we, we, we saw P, right? P is for paragraph, all right? And then you see lorem plus tab as well. So lorem plus tab. It's, it's, it's just a mock, all right? It's just a long text, all right? In case you don't want to type, right? you don't, in case uh, you don't want to type. A long paragraph, all right? It's just a tool, no, no, normally, normally you will write a, 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 a correct paragraph, but, but just in case you don't want, you just put lower them there. Then we're going to see strong and EM, all right? Strong and EM. Strong is bold, EM is italic. So let's see. Let's say that I want to bold this let this word, consectator adipising elite. I want to bold it. I just put strong tab. All right, strong tab. So just now I said that I want to bold three let three words, consectator. A uh, deep sissing elite, All right? I want to bolt that one, so I just make sure that the closing strong, I cut it and then I put it after the word elite. All right, so the word uh, strong, I cut it, I put after the word elite. All right, so once I do that, I refresh. Uh, where was it? So, lama. I think I'm not closing. So let's come out there. All right, now it's, it's bold. Okay, so that's for bold. You try first and then try to bold. Tadi, we have two paragraphs. Try to bold this one as well. Huh? So I want both of the concept to turn. Uh, the pissing elite being bold. All right, so try to do one where I put it and another one you put where I'm highlighting it. All right, so try. One minute, try that. After this, we will so EM for emphasize. Uh, or it italic. Okay, so then, right, so yes, strong. Up. Uh, ah, yes. So, nak tanya boleh tak? Boleh. Uh, first, yang pasal uh, ni, index ni, kenapa saya tak boleh buka eh? Kenapa tak boleh bu... Dia tak appear lah. Kenapa je buka balik sublime? Sekejap eh, uh, sublime. Uh, sublime kan? Ah, kamu tak save lagi tu. Tekan command S save. Command S eh. Ah, tu saya dah dah dulu tegur lah. Command S save. Ah, then pergi balik. Ah, pergi balik benda tadi. Ah, and then double click eh. Oh, okey. Ah, banyak panjangnya bot tu. Bot tu tak tutup tu. Tutup eh. Ah, mana tutup dia? Ah, so you yang yang second tu slash strong eh. Penutup tu slash strong. Sudah so, check ya. Eh. After the word elite tu, you you check eh contact tu lah. Slash. Tutup have to have slash. Kat mana saya? Sini? Ah, sebelum S. Sebelum S. Sini. Oh, tutup. Ah, tutup. Slash. Oh. Ah, okay. Safe. Slash ni maksudnya dia kira apa tutup untuk that part lah. Ah, tutup untuk that part. 
Okey, faham? Uh, Okey, jadi. Jadi ya? Eh? Uh-huh. Okey, alright. Uh. Okey, thank you sir. Alright, satu je soalan. Jadi macam ada banyak. Eh tak, ya, yang ni lah yang, yang, <laughs> yang ini dengan yang tadi tu terpain dia tak boleh buka. Alright, okay. 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 So satu lagi ya, this one. So you you got ya. Yeah. So as as you are discovering it, uh, as I'm you doing it, uh, you 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 discover, uh, you try to discover really. Oh, uh, the slash. Alright, there is a pair. Right, you have open it, you have close. Uh, you try to understand as you are doing it. Alright, strong slash, a uh, strong tap. Alright, dua kali ya. Uh, some of you might be two kali. And then this one, I close it. I cut lah. Uh, I cl- I cut. I close it, I put it after the word elite, same thing as well. Huh? And then press save. And then, and then I'm refresh my browser, right? You see, both are both now. Okay. Another one is EM. All right, EM, I put before acceptor, I put EM tab. I want to put three letter, uh, three word juga. Acceptor, synth, okay, cut. Alright, acceptor, okay, cut. Alright, then paste it there. So what will happen is the word will be italic. Alright, the word here will be italic. Alright, so you have bold here, you have italic here. Alright, so same thing as well. Alright, try try to do it one minute. And then you italic the acceptor sin or kaket on the second paragraph as well, right? So you do both first and second paragraph. So don't know, really. you forgot to me. Everyone can hear you shout at me. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so EM, EM tap. All right, cut, cut it and then I put it here. Okay. okay, so I update my whiteboard. All right, I update my whiteboard. So I have EM, EM. All right, this one is for italic. All right, and then I have strong here. All right, strong here. This one is for for boot. Okay, before before we add new things, I want to yeah you you think of oh, very fast very fast. Actually, I want you to familiarize with some shortcut as well. So keyboard shortcut. Ni ni belajar computer. Alright, belajar computer with me. So keyboard shortcut. This is general lah. Not not only for sub nine. Is for for the entire PC you can do it. All right, you see just now I I I I. Kenapa? Suddenly yeah, he suddenly it goes because I'm using Control plus X. All right, Control plus X is for cut. All right, so if you just now was I was moving right everything I, I cut I don't do right click and everything, and then you have I think this why you familiar Control Control plus C. All right, Control plus C is for copy and then you have another one ct ctrl plus v which is for paste and then control c control v control x then you have control z all right control z is for undo right what is undo so let's say that the item seal up, right? Uh, I, I did this, all right? I want to undo. Undo means I want to bring back my previous work. My previous work, I put control, uh, control, uh, control Z, all right? 
control y right control y is for redo right so i i, I redo is undo my undo yeah, undo my undo so the eh, eh, i cancel i want uh, uh, i want to i want to i i want to i, I delete this all right i delete this uh, all right and then i undo all right and then i turn out oh i need to redo it actually just now was okay all right i redo it all right so undo redo okay, so so that's some of the shortcut and then you saw me just now i was changing that easily eh? i don't click i don't move my mouse that's because i'm using alternate tab right this is to change my window but the problem is i have too many windows sometimes so i i lost right? i have too many windows sometimes i lost right and then i go back to sublime then i go back to code i go to sublime right so i'm using alternate tab and then in browser in browser i do i use control r which is to refresh my browser okay and then before i do alternate tab right i actually do code ctrl plus s which is to save my code all right these are some of the useful shortcut for you that that you that you 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 can use all right and then you see uh, every time <coughs> every time i i change things this thing will turn circle all right this thing will turn circle when it turns circle it means that i have not saved my code all right that's now that's why i say I nampak je code, I tahu, eh tak save tu, alright, it's not safe yet, why, why, I know, without even, without even looking at your code, because I was looking at this circle, alright, once I press command S, once one, I press control S, then you see the circle gone, it's going to be replaced with the X, alright, so that's, that's, that's how you say it, and then I type back, alright, then it changed back to circle, it means, oh, this, whatever that you're typing, you have not saved it, I save it, and then, then it turned back to, uh, to, 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 to X, Okay, itu that's keyboard shortcut, right? That's keyboard shortcut. Uh, I think that's it. I think we are cover everything for for the shortcut. Yes, eh, ini Shami lapan lima puluh empat. Okay, ini lapan lima puluh empat tadi ke ni? Oh, I think I think Shami want to ask the that question. All right, I, I think I know what's the question that he want to ask. All right, so for for Max, all right, is Command X. This one is Command C. All right. This one is command V, all right? And then this one is command uh, X. This one is actually command. I have to do it. Command, come, come up. Command, it's command. This one is command. This is different. Command plus shift plus Z. Right, so that's different. Right? But other than that, it's the same. Command Z. Right. This one is option. 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 Plus tab. Alright, and then this one is command. Uh, right. So, uh, well, I hope that's the question that you want to ask, right? because I might read your mind. Betul ya, Shamil? Soalan dua. Ada, uh, I rasa you cuba-cuba tapi you punya redo tak jadi. Hmm, betul saya jadi. <laughs> Sebab redo tu je command shift X. Dia bukan command Y. Yang lain semua sama except for redo. Ah, betul. Uh, okay, thank you sir. Okay. Okay, kita buat after this, we going to do HR, HR for horizontal ruler, right? That's what it stands for, HR, horizontal ruler. So after this P, I put HR, horizontal ruler. Uh, and then I press save, what will happen, all right? What will happen is I will get a line, all right? So that's what HR means, horizontal ruler or create a line. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put H2, 
H1, H2, alright, so this one is uh, image and links, alright, image and links, alright, press save, refresh, and then you can see it like that, alright, so that, that. this is uh, the, the new things is HR, but H2, H2, you, H2, H2 is, is uh, there already. All right, we will do IMG tab. All right, I did it in here. IMG tab. And then you see here, IMG tab, there will be a SRC here, okay? You go to Google, right? You go to Google, we're going to open Google now. Look for any images that you want. So, for example, I put Kuala Lumpur images. Press enter. Look for Google images. All right. And then look for an image. So, for example, this is the image that I want. So, I, I select this one. I click one time. Then the image will be here. What I'm going to do is I'm I want this link. All right, I want I want the link of this Google image. I'm going to do right click, copy image address. Right, it has it has to be copy image address, and then I paste the address inside the SRC double quote. All right, I paste it there. So once I paste it there, I refresh my page then the image will be there all right so that's that's how you you add images uh, inside inside your 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 website all right so try first i think this one you young some of you mungkin tak biasa all right so try first once you have the image you let me know right once you have the image you let me know Sir, yes. Uh, dia ni eh, apa open image apa uh, save uh, uh, image. right click uh, copy image address copy image address ah uh, copy image address eh uh, okay and then what's copy image address and then paste it Saya nak tanya kan dia punya email email saya tu memang panjang panjang eh? Ah memang panjang. Tapi dia kerja je lah. Dia 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 boleh dibaca. Ah boleh baca tak? Ah tak apa. Save je tengok keluar ke tak? Ah okay. Ah se. So boleh? Boleh ya. Walaupun, walaupun dia sampai apa sampai panjang panjang tu tak ada masalah lah. Tak, but, tadi buat save image address ya, betul ya? Ah betul. Ah okay, kalau tak ada panjang panjang tak ada masalah. Ha. Kebetulan kok gambar kamu tu panjang. Sorry saya sebab dia keluar macam ni saya. Kebetulan ni kita, okay tak. Saya pun rasa, saya pun macam ni tapi tak apa kita tengok jap. 
Tapi dia jadi dekat jadi, sini. Uh, dia ni. Okey, cuba tengok balik. Cuba tengok balik. Cuba undo balik. Undo balik. Okey. Pergi balik dekat Google. Sekejap eh. Okey. Kena, oh, kena klik dulu lah. Kena ikut jalan saya. Tak klik dulu ni. Klik dulu. Klik dulu. Klik dulu. Klik eh. Ha, klik, klik gambar dulu sekali. Klik sekali ya. Okey, kat situ baru ambil. Right click. Ha, jadi sebab kamu sudah ambil. Right click. Right click ya. Itu. Ha. Eh, right click. Tak keluar menu, right click. Right click atas gambar. Sebab oh. guna, saya guna ni kan tak ada, tak ada mouse kan. Oh, okey, okey. Okay. Ha, okay. ha, copy image address. Ha, copy yeah. image address. Ha, yang tu. Okey. And then paste. Dia pada oh. macam tu. Okay. 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 Kalau satu step salah dia ni. Faham. Okay. Okay, thank you, Alright. Saya macam tu, saya macam, tapi kalau kamu ambil gambar yang sama, lain je lain lah. Uh. Okay, ya yeah, the others. Got it? Alright. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, keluar, done, 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 done. Okay. So that's getting the image from, from, from somewhere, from somewhere. Nanti when we do week, week seven, week eight, week seven, week eight, I'm going to show you the place where you can get image legally lah. This one, what we do now is illegal. You can be summoned by uh, Asia Direct. Uh, but but there, there are places that we can get uh, get it for free legally, right? We, where we call the proper common creative license. Right? Macam YouTube lah, YouTube is common creative license. Uh, there, there is a place where you can get common creative license of images as well, right? We do it on, when we do the project. Uh, I, will, I will explain uh, it to you as well. So what you're going to do now, all right, we're going, this is from somewhere, all right, this is going to be from somewhere. Uh, and then this, then I'm going to get an image from my PC, all right, from my PC. So you just check on your PC, all right, you just check on your PC or on your Mac. If you have any images, I have this one images that I think I can, I can add inside my website. You copy it and then you put it in the same folder. You copy it, you put it inside the same folder. To make matters simple, your, your image might be like this. Your image might be like this. Huh? The name might be long. Huh? So if the name is long, try to rename it to be something simple. First, right? So just, just rename it so that you it's going to be something simple. So I think this one okay, but I will just remain it poster, uh, poster.png. And then I'm going to bring it out. So enter img tab. As long as I put it inside the same folder, all right, I'm going to put it, uh, the file name, all right, poster.png, poster.png, save it, and then I go back. And then I'm going to refresh it, right? Go back, refresh. Then my poster will come out. Okay. So that's that's the thing. Eh? Okay. Put it first. I, I know that the image is too big. So in, in once you are done, once the image is, is out, I'm going to explain how to change the size. Right? I'm going to explain how to change the size. So you just put, uh, get one image, put it on the right folder. Once you are done, you let me know. After this, we will set the size properly.
Sorry, can you repeat the second photo? All right, for the second photo, all right, for the second photo, you put it, <coughs> you put it on the same folder, right? You put it on the same folder. Just make sure that the name is, is you know, it's PNG or something. And then, or JPEG, it could be a JPEG, it could be a JPEG, all right? Uh, how, how do you know it? Normally, if you right click, there is this thing which is called get info or properties. Over there, you will know either it's a JPEG or PNG. This is a PNG. Your yours might be JPEG or any. And then just make sure that is the same name. Just make sure that it's the same thing. And then don't forget, check this and save. Then only you refresh. Right. If you have problem, you try that. Or you check one first, and then and then if if got issue, you you share me your screen. Correct, it has to be in the same folder. Uh, okay, uh, gambar okay. Uh. Uh, we put af after the double quote, uh, after the double quote here, all right, so somewhere where you have SRC double quote, I will add width equals to, this is where I'm going to specify the width. So for example, 400 PX, Somewhere over here also, after IMG SRC for the poster, I will add the width as well. Width equals to 400 px. Right. So once I do that, refresh, uh, then the image will be resized. Right. Then the image will be resized. Right. Uh, so this the width right is 400 px. Right. You don't need to specify the height. Right. There, there is this thing that you can specify also, which is the height, but you don't need to specify it because if you specify it wrongly, so for example, this one, right, then your, your image will be painted, all right, will be, will be uh, squeezed, all right. So you don't uh, need to specify it. You only need to specify either one and then the others will be uh, adjust automatically based on the based on the aspect ratio, all right. So try to adjust your image. After this, is going, we're going to do links. After links, we're going to do bullets and numbering. And then after that, that's it, right? Now. Okay, uh, Joel, uh, second image doesn't appear. All right, uh, if you need help, you can just share your screen. Uh. Uh, if you need help, you share your screen. My second image is annoyingly too long, uh, too big. We just make it smaller a little bit. Uh. So, 300 px. 
Alright. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, jo uh, jo Joel, you can. I, I still haven't memorized your name. Uh, you can share your screen. Can you repeat how to type the width? Ah, the width is after after the space. Yeah, you, you see the double quote. Alright, you see the double quote with the image name here. Alright, you see there's a double quote here. You just type width. Alright. Uh, and then equal oh, oh, okay. we, we check that one I check that one first all right screenshot.png uh joel this one you are showing only your subline when you select you select the entire screen because i want to see the i want to see the, your your folder as well all right so you you reshare your screen but you select the left left all right select the entire screen the one that we did just now in the beginning Okay, so screenshot.png, screenshot.png. Uh, okay, let me check. Go back to your file. Okay, go there. All right, click there. So it's a PNG, correct. Okay, go back to your sublime. Okay, save. All right, try to open back your index.html. Save. Go down, go down. Uh, it's not coming out. Okay, go back there. Go back to your ni. Go back to your code. It's uh, go back to your code and your ni. I need to see the screenshot. Dot png. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> screenshot.png image src screenshot.png uh, week one module can you move a little bit your uh, subline to the right uh, just move it to the right okay okay then one four folder is okay with one oh uh wait up okay index.html screenshot screenshot dot pap capital s uh okay uh okay go sorry go back to your file go back to your file go back to your file i think okay re uh screenshot the png rename it right click rename all right, don't don't type PNG. Just put screenshot. Just remove the dot PNG. Uh, just put screenshot because I, I don't think uh, I don't think PC need to do that. That one that one you put. All right, that one you put. But it, it knows it dot, dot PNG. But when you call the file name, you don't need to put screenshot. Right. Then uh, open back. Go down. All right. So that's the that's the challenge we are, we are working on Macs and 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 Windows. All right. So you go back to your thing. You go back to your code just now. I I correct it right away. Okay. You see your code. Ah, uh, the you ah uh, before we do. All right. Just put your cursor there. Delete. Delete. Press backspace two times. One more time. On a space. Press space, all right. You see, it should be like that. Huh? It should be like that. It means that the closing bracket should be after the 400 pick X, right? So you have the same mistake there, then you correct it and then save it. That's the reason why it's not big. That's the reason why it's big. Okay, so that's it. All right, so uh, cut, cut no 74. <laughs> Sorry, I get uh, it. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to. Uh, Friday is going to be better because I'm going to read your name instead of your code or Desmond. Eh? So Desmond, uh, you check. Eh? So so previously we were here. We previously we were somewhere over here. You see the double quote, right? Check check the double quote, and then press space. I type with, all right, equals to double quote. Four hundred px. All right, you have to find out the double where's the double code. Not 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 after the bracket is after the double code. All right, so try that. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and this one also can. All right, image done. 
after this, we're going to do a ref a. Pet. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, a. A ref. I don't know what happened. A ref. All right. A ref. Make sure that A tap. Normally A ref. A ref tap. And then this one you put HTTPS www.google.com. I will put here open Google. All right. Once I save this, I press refresh. I will see a link here. Well, my, my screen is too small. That says open Google. I press open and then it will open Google. All right, so that's a ref. All right, that's links. Once you're done with Google, you can add two more, which is for Facebook and Instagram. All right, once you're done with Google, you will add two more, which is Facebook and Instagram. Open Facebook, open Instagram. Sir, sorry sir. Ah yes. Yang line nombor 30 ni kan untuk Google ni kita nak buat apa eh sebenarnya? Buka aja akan ada link kat sini. Oh. Uh, tekan tu dia akan buka Google. Alright. Okey faham. Thank you sir. Alright. Buat Facebook dengan Instagram eh. Yeah, correct. So, so there is a good remark here. Uh, a tap, uh, a tap. Uh, so, one by one, a tap, uh, and then, uh, but the link is side by side. Correct. So that's that's the remark that you see, and then the image also side by side. All right, the image also will be side by side, and then the the, the thing also will be side by side. All right. After this, I will show you enter uh, how to do single how to do single enter after this. Okay, so I did a tap. All right, a tap, and then https www.facebook.com. So open Facebook, and then a tap. All right, https dot Instagram dot com. Open Instagram. Okay, yeah, so it's side by side. All right, it's side by side. After this, we will do enter. All right. Sir, nak tanya boleh, sir? Boleh. Uh, apa tujuan kita letak tap tap lah macam contoh saya letak A, lepas tu tap apa semua tu kan? Oh, kalau tak letak tap, kena type semua. 
Ya itu uh. Uh, kalau tak tap kena tap semua. Uh, yang ini saya nak ajar supaya kamu dapat telinga cepat. Right? You you can you can write it quickly ya. Eh? Uh, so that's so you do tap. Later uh, dalam pukul 10 alright we, we going to you going to uh, we going to go through free code camp together. Inside free code camp there is no shortcut. You have to type everything. Uh, that's where you going to understand okey apa maksud dia. Dekat sini I show you the shortcut. The tap tap tu untuk untuk bagi dia shortcut. Ah, uh, apa apa. Ini tak ada berita reality. Kalau tak ada sublime you have to type everything. That's you going to see later dekat free code camp. Oh. Alright. Okay, thank you sir. Alright, so ni jap bagi saya dua minit saya nak ambil air jap. Right? Okay, tan. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, today, right? Today, if you notice, kan, uh, you kadang, kadang I have to check. Alright, kadang, kadang I have to check. Uh, but, but nanti uh, on oh, Slack. That's that's why I like Slack. Slack dia akan keluar pop up. Tengok, tidak. Alright, if you ask question, I will be more alert. Right, today. Sorry kalau terlambat. I'm sorry if I reply a little bit late but but on when we when we set up Slack that is going to resolve the issue. Okay, so uh I will update our notes here so then to you boleh So just now we did HR after HR we do IMG SRC or IMG IMG plus tab lah. So I'm, I'm just going to show you the, the shortcut. So this one is to show to show image. All right, get the link or locally. Right. If local, if if local to mean from PC lah. Right? If locally, it has to be in the same folder. All right, and then you have another one is A plus tab. All right, a plus that to link. All right, to other website. Okay, so this one I will move here. So this one I will move here. E M and strong I will move here. All right. Uh, so I will move. I will move a little bit. All right, I will move a little bit. Why I move it here? This one is not done. This one is just a note side notes. All right, because we have a question just now. We have a question. Did I enter? All right, did I enter? So I categorize this page. So all this element will enter directly. All right, all this element will not enter. Right, will not enter. Will not create new line. All right, will not create new line right so I, i don't want i don't want to go i don't want to go in theory too much on that uh but 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 on week three oh we, next week all right next week uh we we will see we will see what is this two called all right uh, so yang ini, this one strong em img im image ahref all right it will not enter if you want to enter all right if you want to enter Right. at br right. at br uh, which is brick right so that's what i'm going to do now right i'm going to do now after my image i will do br tag right and then if i want so now my 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 link will go down right my link will go down here right 
But if I'm not, if I want the Google, Facebook, or Instagram to enter one after another, I will just add BR at the end as well. All right, so BR, which stands for break, means end. Okay, so that's, 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 uh, next BR lah, all right, BR. Okay. I believe ubah ni lah. Image, links, and break. Br and break. Image, links, and break. Br. Okay. To create a new section, I will do HR. I will do H2. So, bullets and numbering. All right. To create a section, I will do H2. And then, I will do HR and H2. Bullets and numbering. HR and H2. Bullets and numbering. Okay, so for bullet and numbering, okay, I will do UL tab. All right, inside UL, I will have LI tab. All right, this is the first item. LI tab. This is the second item, and then I will do li tab. This is the third item. All right. So this is ul. Ul stands for unordered list. Li stands for list item. All right. So what will happen, you will have a bullet. All right, so UL, bullets is actually called and or the list. Right, that's where the UL comes from. Okay, make sure that this one works first. If you ni jadi the 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 other one which is numbering will be easy. All right, just make sure that this one works first. Same thing, eh? once you're done, you 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 update me, right? So I check timestamp 9.32, you update me.
Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So UL is an ordered list. Numbering is called ordered list. All right. Ordered because because order matter. Satu, dua, tiga tu penting. One, two, three is important. That's why it's called ordered list. An ordered list is doesn't really matter. All right. I just do dot 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 dot. All right. So so it doesn't really matter. All right. So that's why it's a bullets. Right? That's the difference between bullets and and numbering. So for 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 numbering is an O L, all right? O L, tap, L I, tap, all right? So this is so the first item, all right? And then L I, tap, all right? This is the second item, L I, tap, all right? This is the third item. All right, so I press save and then refresh my thing. Then I say lah, one, two, three. Okay, so that's that's for li. That's for ol. All right, and then li is list item. Ah. Li is list item. All right, so that's that's about it for for the notes today. All right, so I that, not that's about it for the notes. Uh, I think we have another well one one hour left, one hour left. But but in, in class it's only forty five minutes left. Uh, can you double check? All right, can you double check your GitHub if everything is okay? Anyone check back your GitHub? Apparently, apparently there is an issue. Uh, in US, all right. So I'm I'm gonna fastly down, all right. Fastly down. So so you if you can you should check Google News. It, it was happening uh, one hour ago when we started class. So that's why you see that might be the reason why GitHub was down for some of you. So it in it it, it uh, well a lot of a lot of website was down uh, just now before break. Including uh, including Amazon, including Twitch, including CNN. So I GitHub might be done because of that. But can we double? Can you double check, right? Uh, why? Okay. Why does the H1 can only goes until H6? Because they they set it like that, right? They only set it uh, like that. Uh, but if you need more than H6, normally normally, and you remember this is a structure. This is a structure. Even if you write a thesis ke document again, you will never do right. You are 2.1, right? 2.1. 2.1 2, 2 is uh, H2. Uh. Uh, rarely you go at the 2.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. No, rarely is that long. Right? So that's that's the reason. I think they, they do the research and everything. They find out that, okay, uh, at, 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 at max, it's going to be H6. You imagine, like, right, if you're doing a, a papers or something, right? Well, 2 is normal. 2.11 is normal. 2.12 is I think I, I did that as well. 2.2.1, all right, then, then it's, it's a normal, that's, that's rare. And then I think they, they, they already did the research. They find out normally people only do until six days. So that, it's a structure. It's not the text size. Whatever that's related to text size, you want it to be smaller, bigger, 
we, we will do it uh, with CSS, right? But when we're talking about the structure, right, I, I think it's, it's only until, until six at the maximum. Okay, so any other questions than that? If there is no question, can, can, can you check GitHub okay or not? Can you check GitHub okay or not? If GitHub is not okay today, we will do it uh, Friday or next week. But, but unfortunately, all right? Unfortunately. Uh, anyone have problem with GitHub? Okay, just uh, okay, all uh, right. Okay now, all right, so confirm. All right, so I think it was because of the Fastly just now, all right? Just now, even stack, stack overflow is one of the, if you Google a problem, right? Normally you, you will be, you will be, you will be here as stack overflow. Stack overflow was also down since this, this afternoon. Uh, so that's, that's, that's the reason why it was down because of, of this one services, which is called Fastly. Okay, so the difference now between your GitHub and my GitHub is you have this big green button, create a new project. Right, if I'm not mistaken, you will have a new button which is called create a new project. Okay, before before you do that, right, before you do that, I need you to check just now, just now because I was I was looking at just now I was looking at who's huh? I was looking at one of your guys on your PC, right? Then I noticed it. So let let me let let's let's try to correct it now. For your image. All right, for your image here, just now I uh, just now tadi I saw capital letter, right? So this one you put small letter, screenshot just now, right? small letter, and then the the the, the file also you rename it a small letter. So that's because I takut GitHub tak baca. I worried that GitHub does not read it. So I just, let's let's rename this file to a small letter, and then and then this to small letter, and then and then the file also is to small letter, right? So that's 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 the thing that before we, we before we move to github just rename that first <coughs> okay so one minute Okay, so kita ni, eh? so what we're going to do now, we're going to upload our code to GitHub. All right, I'm going to show you how to upload our code to GitHub. So the difference now, because because you just started, right? Because you just started, you don't have all this yet. You have to, you're going to have that one green button, which is called start a new project or start a new repository. All right, so I don't want to, I can't remember what the name is. So you, you, you click that, that button, right? You click that button and then, you press and then we will arrive at the same page. All right, so. Correct, click a new project and then we will arrive. Eh? I hope we will arrive at the same page. Yes, uh, Kisavan, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Before that, what kind? Oh, that one you just put, that one before register, just now you just put for what kind of, uh, anything, they don't, they don't really care. Uh, you just put developer also can. They, they, they just want to do for their marketing purposes.
okay. Okay, after after you have done that, nanti kalau apa if 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 uh, case of case of need me to repeat, I will do it. Yeah? After that, this one you will put the folder name. So you imagine this as the folder name on GitHub. Right, GitHub is basically the place where you're going to store your code on the server. Right, so that's why I want to check it every week. So let's say that this one is called week one. So you just put that week one week one week one right but but i have a lot of week one already so i will just put here b24 for batch 24 right but you can put week one also can all right just make sure that it this will be a website url now so if you put a web you need to put a dash all right website url don't have a space all right your website you have to have underscore all right you put it week dash one huh? because it's going to be a website url Okay, do it there. Okay, so, uh, do we put private uh, repository name? Huh? So week one dash B24. All right, okay, I was waiting for case seven just now. Huh? Week one slash B24. This one you put public. So to answer your question, we put public. And then this one you will put at a readme file. You have to tick at a readme file. All right, so three things. Huh? This one. All right, repository name you put like this and then we put public and then you put add a readme file and then that's it all right that will file Okay, once you are done, you press create repository. And then you will, this is like creating a new folder, right? This is like creating a new folder. What you're going to do is you're going to do add file, upload files, and then you're going to drag the two files just now, which is your index.html and your poster.png. Okay, so once you have done that, Ulang balik, ulang balik. Dari mana? Ah, ulang balik. Upload. Daripada yang masuk dekat sini. Uh, upload. Okay, dari masuk dekat sini kan? Okay. okay, you just put add file, upload files. Okay. Alright, oh, okay. after you do upload files, then drag file ya. Drag your file ataupun you can choose your files. Alright, uh, ah. kalau kalau tak, you boleh drag sahaja. 
drag okay. files, uh, drag je lah. And then dia dua tu akan masuk. Thank you, sir. Okay. Alright, so yang ni kan, uh, you just, you ikut je, add files, add files via upload. Uh, dia, dia, dia kena tulis nota. The notes, you put, put that, add files via upload. And then you press commit change. Commit change means upload. Alright, commit change means upload. Alright, dia bahasa GitLab. Bahasa Git a little bit. Alright, this one we will see somewhere on week 6, week 7, we'll go a little bit more on detail. Alright, so... Uh, that one, all right, press commit change. What should happen is in one minute, all right, your file will be uploaded, all right. So if you have this and this, it means that your file will be uploaded. Okay, so once you have that, you let me know done, all right. Once you have that, let me know done. Okay, 9.52, the timestamp 9.52. Then we will have one more things to do. And then after that, we will have a look at free code camp. Done, commit. Done, done, done. All right. Okay, so last last for today, for last for uh, exercise. After this, we do free code camp. After this, we just go through free code camp together. You're going to go to settings. All right, you're going to go to settings. After you go to settings, you go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down until you find this word GitHub pages. Yeah. All right. Hey, sorry, you don't even need to go down, it's here because I. Uh, well, you see, uh, page setting now has own dedicated tab. Check it out here, alright? So, in the end, it's just type. Sorry. So, you don't need to go down there. You just look here. GitHub pages. There is a pages there. Click pages. Alright. What you're going to do now is, alright, so once you are here, or once you are here, you're going to change from none to main. What does it mean? It means that I want to activate GitHub pages. What is GitHub pages? In one minute, you will know. All right. Press save. Okay. Once you have this, give it like one minute. All right. Jangan terburu-buru. You should get the URL here. All right. You should get this URL. Jangan terburu-buru. If you terburu-buru, then you have to redo it back. And then after one minute, because it has to refresh everything, you press it, all right, you should see the website that you updated just now. All right, uh, so that's, that's, that's the end goal, all right. So we can say that in, I learned how to create a website in, in three hours or in four hours, three hours, all right, you can, you can claim that today on Facebook. All right, so once you are done, all right, share your link. Although this is not nice, all right, you can share share the link of your website in the comments, all right. So just make sure that it's there. 
you can share the link here, right? Well, it's, it's not, not but, but yeah. But, but in three, four weeks, it's going to be nice, but it's just stuck for, at least for today. Eh? Sir, so, nak tanya boleh? Boleh. Tadi dekat GitHub pages tu kan? Ah betul. Kan dia pergi dekat source tu, dekat branch, dekat main kan? Betul. Lepas tu save lah. Save. Okay. Then kita, oh okay, dah dapat dah. Ah, ini. Nah, nah, baru tu lepas tu nak. Sekejap, ah, ini baru ni. Ah. Oh, okay, faham. Okay. Alright. Uh, just nak tanya saya, macam GitHub ni maksudnya dia tak perlu server lah eh, kalau kita nak deploy kita punya website lah kan? Ah betul. Kalau, kalau untuk tak macam tak prototype tak. ke? Ah betul. Dia tak perlu server. Ah, dia ni lah. Dia asal dia HTML, asal dia CSS, dia JavaScript, dia tak perlukan server. Kalau dia benda lain, oh. kemungkinan perlukan server. Benda lain tu saya tak nak aku in detail lah. Tapi contohnya kalau dia PHP ke, dia, dia. kalau HTML, CSS, JavaScript tak perlukan server. Okay, cantik. Okay. Thank you, sir. Alright. There isn't a GitHub pages here. Uh, can you, okay. Can you share the link? Can you share the link? Share your link and then I check. Uh, you, just share, you, just, you just share your link and then I check. So, kita, okay. Okay. Uh, right. Let me check his uh, github.com. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, actually, I can check everything. Once you have your gear, I can check everything. Oh, your file, then your file. Uh, uh, actually, it's not this file. Or it's not this file. It's 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 index.html file. Can I? Uh, can you see? I, I, is there any another file which is called index.html? Uh, kalau tak ada, uh, then then I I have I have to look for you. Alright, uh, so yang saya nak buat verify di GitHub, boleh saya guna nama email Jimmy? Boleh, boleh. Ah, boleh. Ah, okay, Savan, can you look for a file uh, which is called index.html? Uh, this one I think is not index.html. Uh, what's up like? Ah, apa yang saya nak buat to your file? If, if if you can't find it, you you let me know and then, then I can check your screen. Ah, got it. Drag and drop again. Eh? So you add files, drag and drop again. So this one you can we can just ignore it. Abaikan yang this one, but you just drag and drop again. Okay. So ya hula by me. Okay. Uh, hari ni hari ni I have to check, double check your name as well. Cut no. Eh? Uh, two more eh? nanti bila dah ada ni dia ni cut no is desmond all right so desmond uh, if 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 a little bit late you can use your gmail you can use your gmail no need to use uh doesn't need to be whatever that you send to me it could be any email Oh, your name is Kat Noah. Yeah. Okay, last kali. All right, last one. That one's done. Okay, uh, here's my GitHub. All right, so once you are on your GitHub, you're going, yeah, I want you to, you're already logged in and everything. I want you to open my, my, my GitHub. All right, I want you to open my GitHub. And then once you open my GitHub, you will see uh, you, you will see somewhere over here. You will see follow. Uh, you will see follow. Alright. So let me take an example just now. Uh, I open just now. I open uh, kisah apa kisah van punya, right? Alright. So I open kisah van punya. 
then 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 you will see a follow button so i need you to do the same to my github why why i need you to to do that all right so that because i will check who's following me all right i will check who's following me i know that this these are my students and then then i can see your then i can see your 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 works all right i can see your work so i know your username and then i can see your work so this one actually is all the students uh, previous students, so so whenever they upload their code, then I can see it from from my like here, lah, right? So that's 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 why uh, that's actually I, I can know, all right? You uh, you do work or not? Everything I can know, all right? Uh, so this one I can yeah, uh, Kintan, uh, everything I, I I can check, all right? So so just just follow me so that I know that you are doing your work. Lah. This previous student, how to doing? I see, tak ada. Class habis semua tak buat, all right? Class habis semua tak buat kerja. All right, so let me double check a little bit. Okay, so everyone's there. Okay, so that's one's done. Can so can yeah yeah can uh. ah correct. It's your face FB profile for programmers, and then when you interview for your work, if you're looking for a job, you're going to link it to your GitHub profile as well. All right, so that's that's the reason why you have a GitHub. It's a link in for programmer. It's a link in from programmer. All right, so check. Okay, so I want to new. Okay, so you go to add file. All right, upload files. All right, then I'll put it there. Oh no, not that one. Ah, uh, not that one. Sorry. Ah, uh, no, it's not that one. Ah, uh, it's it's that one. Nah, that one. Correct. Ah, uh, so that one. Okay, so. Press, 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 and then okay. Press uh, add, add new file. Press comment change. Okay, so uh, wait for five seconds. Uh, uh, try open back your link. Try to refresh your link. So just uh, go back to pages. Uh, press it back. Okay. All right. Now it's there. Okay. Your your second image, look at your second image. There's not a, a person. Your PNG to be big. All right. That's the reason why it not, does not come out. All right. The PNG need to be small. Uh, what was it on your file name? I think your file name. Uh, inside your file name just now. I, I I I noticed that the PNG is big. All right, so that's why the image doesn't come out. All right, if you, if you want it to come out, you you just put small PNG, and then inside the code also you put small PNG, and then you update it back. Right, so that's that's the reason uh, why it doesn't come out. Okay, last I think almost done. If uh, I, I will try to do the tomorrow. You check your. I will try to do the tomorrow. I'm quite free a little bit. So maybe tomorrow you will get the email to Slack because if you want to ask me personal question, can maybe you you malu everyone see and uh, then then we will Slack you can ask me you can PM me alright so this one uh, we uh, to I will try to do it tomorrow 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 lah we try to do it tomorrow okay, tomorrow you check your Slack that tunggu Friday lambat because you might want to ask personal questions uh, uh, that's and then and then then if it's private then it's better lah. Right? Okay, last one. We will just quickly do. I will, as I promise. Hari ni dah banyak benda, so we will just do another ten minutes. You go to Free Code Camp. Right, I just want to show you how to do it, and then after this, you can, you can, you can take it by your own. All right. So once you open Free Code Camp, I'm not sure if you arrive here or not. If you are not arrive here. It's actually on the menu curriculum. All right. If you are if you are not on this page, it's on the menu curriculum. So you're going to start with responsive web design certification. For those who just now, I think uh, Mr. Navin uh, came here, right? Some of you are. Some of you, uh, I will got it from EIS, right? So for those who are doing EIS, and 
uh, I really strongly encourage you to do everything here. Uh, I strongly encourage for you to do everything here. Doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be during class. Um, after class, kind of, okay, you, you try to do half with me and then you, you because with me, you have to do JavaScript and everything down. But, but, but after you finish your class, try to take time to do everything here. Right. Uh, if once you've done everything here, actually, because you're going to get a certificate from, uh, from, from free code camp. All right, so that's 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 why I, I encourage you to do uh, everything here. All right, for for those who who, who are only here for uh, for for who coming for EIS and going to look for and for those who are looking for job as well. Huh? All right, so once you are here, all right, it will explain what is it. We're going. I'm going to do directly to questions one. All right, you you will not have a dot. All right, you 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 are not going to have a dot. Uh, you 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 because because you have not done it. I have a dot lah. I have a tick. So you just have an empty dot. I will go to the first questions. This is how it is structured, right? This is how it is structured. On the left part, which is here, is actually the the explanation, right? Is expl actually the explanation. So maybe you you need to read read it for the first time. You need to read it, but actually it's something that we have done together. So I'm I'm more practical. So uh, everything then I, I I didn't go through the slide because I'm expecting student to read and understand from here. So that's why. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even talk about the practical, but from here, for example, it explains, right? First, you will start building a simple web page using HTML, all right? You can edit it in the code editor, which is embedded into this web page. So that's the expression of the portal. All right, do you see the code in your code editor that says H1, hello world? That's an HTML element. So this is called an HTML element. All right, so as, as, as you might figure out just now, all right? Most HTML elements have an opening and a closing tag. Opening is like this, closing is like this. We will observe it together. All right. The only difference between opening and closing is the forward slash after uh, the, the, the bracket. Eh? After the bracket, you will have the forward slash. All right. Each challenge has tests you can run at a time by clicking the run test button. When you pass all tests, you will be prompted to submit your application and go to the next coding challenge, all right? So to pass, all right, this is the test. Huh? This is the test, all right? So the, the test. So to pass this exercise, change your H1 elements text to say hello world. So this one, you know it already, all right? So it's not hello, they want it from hello. They want you to change it to hello world, all right? So once you have that, run the test and then it will say completed, all right? But you will not have one, they will kind of, last time I, I mean, you will only have like 1% or 2% uh, because, because, because I have 100 because I've completed this one. You only have like 1% or 2%. Okay. Uh, so last time I, I thought you were very confused. Right. You only have 1%, 2% and then you go to the next challenge. Right. So for, for questions one, the answer is hello world. Uh, hello world. All right. That one, everyone got 1%, uh, 2%. Okay, yeah, from one person. It's like uh, the one you showed us earlier, but simplified, it seems. Ah, correct. Uh, it's like the one you show, but simplified. Correct. Uh, is it <laughs> because simplified? I think it's easier, right? It's easier because when I do it, show a very one shot, right? This one is like you so, uh, kecik kecik, right? So you can you can just go through back. Basically, we have done everything. Thirty questions we already done. Uh, we already done everything in in four hours. Uh, that's why eh, uh, you, you, this is your your addition, all right? This is your exercise. All right. So this one, all right? Over the new next few lessons, we will build an HTML five. Cat photo web at piece by piece, all right? The H2 element you will be adding in this step will add a level two heading to the page. This one already I explained. This element tells the browser about the structure of your website. So the keyword is structure. H1 elements are often used for main headings, while H2 elements are generally used for subheading. There are also H3, H4, H5, H6 elements to indicate different level of subheadings. So the challenge is 
add an H2 text that says cat photo app to create a second HTML element below your hello world H1 element. Right, so that's the challenge, right? Add the H2. Any error? Eh, what are there? Okay, I'm waiting for your picture. Uh, oh, no, no, 4% because you have not finished. Uh, after this then, because I have one, I have 100% because I finish uh, the HTML. The, the, the reason why you have, 4% uh, is correct. Huh? The reason why, why I have 100% because I already finished the exercise. I already finished 28 exercise. That's why I have 100%. If not, I have to reset back. Then I will become zero like you guys as well because I, I tried to get the certificate as well. So that's why that's why I have 100%. Huh? You, you only have 4% because you have not finished. Uh, Okay, so this one, add an H2 tag that says cat photo app. So this one, I want to show it with you. I want to do it one time with you because this one does not work. H2 tag does not work. So this is where you're going to remember back, right? Oh, actually, I need an opening tag. I need a H2. I need to close, all right? And then I need to make sure that I have opened it back. I need to close it. And then I put an H2 and I, I close it, all right? And then the, the thing that I want is cat photo app. So uh, don't, uh, if there is no tick, don't add tick. Uh, right. it, it has to be exactly like this, right? And then press run the test, and then you will get. Now you get six or eight percent. Uh, all right, six or eight percent. Then go to the next page. Yeah, yeah, here you have to do manually, right? Here you will have to do manually, but you know already. Uh, oh, normally it's like that. Here you have to remember back, try to do it manually. You learn easier first, and then baru bersusah. Some people say bersusah susah dahulu bersenang senang kemudian, but I do bersenang senang dahulu. Then only you 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 make it susah, right? Okay, kita buat lima saja. So this one, eh? we three more. All right. So this one is P, bula. All right. This one is P, bula. So everything we have done together. So we could do it until we can complete the whole section. Correct. Until you have 200 by the end of seven weeks. If you don't want to put everything, you just do this week, a uh, whole section, lah, all right? All right, so P elements are the preferred element for the par paragraph, all right? Create a P element below your H2. This is something that we have done. Uh, this is, this is uh, as a convention, all HTML texts are written in lowercase. All right, try to put in small letter, lah, all right? So, uh, similar, all right, do P. I just up hello paragraph, hello paragraph, and then P, and then run the test. All right, so this one quite quite easy, yeah. First few five, hey, very very easy. You do ten, very easy. One day ten, one day ten. All right. When you ask for money, you need to give them money. Uh, okay. And then for, we will do five together, huh? not not five. You will do everything. We will do five together. All right. So web developers traditionally, this is the lorem ipsum also is explained there. All right. So web developers traditionally use lorem ipsum text as placeholder text. All right. And then there is a history there. The lorem ipsum text is randomly scraped from a famous passage by Cicero of ancient Rome. All right. So it has been used as a placeholder text by typesetters since the 16th century. All right, that's all right. right. While five centuries is long enough, so we are building a cat photo app. They they just change it from lorem ipsum to kitty ipsum. All right. They, they. So the the question is replace the text inside your p element with the following few words of this kitty ipsum text. All right. Actually, just copy lah. All right, that's all right. Just copy, and right. then you replace hello paragraph with uh, with with the thing. Right. So very easy. Run all the tests. Uh, we do four or five already. Let's see. Four or five already. Up. One, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Fill in the blank with eh, five already. Eh? One, two, three, four. Last one. Uncomment, uncomment. We do uncomment, uncomment. All right. Two more, all right? Two more. Commenting is the way. This one we have not done, all right? Because that's why sometimes so I ask you to do frequent care because sometimes I just choose to skip some of the not really important stuff. All right, so for example, commenting. All right, commenting is a way that you can leave comments for other developers within your code without affecting the resulting output that is displayed to the end user. All right, so you see, uh, once you add comments, you will not see it here, all right? This is comment, open like this, close like this, right? Your plate scale, open is like this, close is like this, all right? If you want to uncomment, all right? So then you have to remove it, all right? The question is uncomment your H1 
H2 and P elements, so you remove it. Right, so that's the questions. And then run the test. All right, and then the last one, uh, very easy. Uh, this one, Jenny's case, right? So remember that in order to start a comment, this is something new, okay? you need to do like this, bracket, exclamation mark, minus, minus, and to end a comment, you need to use dash double minus minus bracket. All right. Here, you will need to end the comment before your H2 element begins. So end the comment before your H2 element begins. Comment out your H1 element and your P element, but not your H2 element. They are the keyboard skit. They, have to, they ask you to think a little bit. It's not that hard. I want to comment this. So, so the, the closing bracket, I need to remove before the H2 element. All right, now, now. And then they ask you to comment also the P element. So I will just copy my opening bracket. I put it here. Closing bracket, I put it here. So this is uh, comment. All right, this is going to be show. This is going to be comment. All right. Uh, so that's that's the, the exercise. All right, that's the exercise. In Sublime, there is a shortcut. All right, the shortcut is you select everything. Command slash or control slash. All right, that's the comment. Right, that's Sublime. All right, so so. so I can add that as well inside our slide. We have done everything, yeah. This one done. Okay, that's it. I will just put here until I update. All right, you L list and numbering. All right, list and numbering. There you have command, yeah. Comments. All right, slash. All right, All right. slash. All right, in sublime. All right, you select. The, you highlight, highlight, and control plus slash or command plus slash. Okay, so this one, yeah. comments, ignoring, right, ignoring the code. Okay, so that's the answer, run the test, and then that's it. All right, you already have six. Tinggal lagi 194. Uh, you have only 194 left. Okay, I'm going to be fast, but the, 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 the thing will be available. All right, if you need, then you can check back the recording and then and then you can, yeah, you can get, get your six points right away. Yeah? Okay, any questions? All right, I, I hope everything is okay today. All right, I hope. Sorry. Ah, ah, boleh. <laughs> for the for the free code care, right? The basic HTML, HTML5, they are, uh, for that section, are the 28 itself. Correct. So this one, we complete it for this week, ke macam mana, or we just take time? I recommend you to do it this week, because the thing, if you don't do it this week, then it will be piled up next week, because next week, you're going to add CSS into it. Oh, the next one, okay. The next one, again. so uh, yeah. if, if you don't need it now, that will be piled up next week. After CSS, you check it through, uh, after CSS, uh, you're going to do Flexbox, which is this okay. one. And then you will do bootstraps. And, and uh, sometimes some, some section is bigger than smaller than others. Uh -huh. uh, so that's why, that's why this one is okay. Like two weeks, you will do this and this. But the thing is when you start JavaScript, then that, that's where the problem will come. There's like 100, 11 in JavaScript. Uh, so, so I recommend you to try try to do this Everything. as much as possible. And then most of the students, what it, it depends lah because it, it will show you what kind of person you are. You might some of you, they, some of the students they like uh, logical thinking. All right, some of the students they like some things that they can see. Much HTML, CSS is something that you can see. On the last day, I see like, some of the students again, they, they they almost finish everything on responsive web design. Uh, but but the JavaScript algorithm they only do like thirty and everything. You you have to balance. Uh, you you some of them they finish everything here, but yang by HTML CSS they only do half half. Uh, so so it's, it's up to you to juggle uh, how you feel, uh, right? But but actually it, it, uh, some students they prefer to do this. Some prefer they do logic logical thinking. Somewhere around week four week three week four you already know lah. Uh, which one you prefer? Which one is difficult? Which one is uh, you will know it uh, week three week four. But this one, do we have marks for completing all this? 
Yes, right. That's why it's ten percent. Two hundred, ah, two hundred only. No, no, not everything. Ah, two hundred exercises. Two hundred exercises. Any of this? Any of this? Yeah, I, 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 I will not dictate which one. Kalau you rasa, I, if you think that you can get the marks easily from here, you just do all this. Uh, if you think that JavaScript, you do JavaScript. Uh. Okay, got it. But but no, I think like uh, this one, the, the JavaScript one, once, once you get it, the 110 is very easy. Uh, you will dapat. <laughs> yeah, 110 <laughs> is like one pile, 110 yeah. marks you will get. Uh. Uh, but yeah. try to really like, it's up to you, like, it's up to you, but, but at least 200. And then some of the exercise we will do together, so yeah. that will come as well. Uh, so much like you already have six, but sometimes I will do to uh, exercise with uh, CSS. We might do together as well a little bit. Uh, that one also will come. Hi. Thank you. Okay, where do we find the recording, sir? You will not find it now. I think you will find it either tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be inside uh, inside files. Here, it's going to be inside files. It's going to be inside class material. You check it tomorrow. If it's not there, you you can you can uh, WhatsApp Isha. Uh, you can WhatsApp Isha uh, or Mister Navin itself. I think it's auto. I think it's auto uploaded. Right? I think it's auto uploaded. Uh, but but if it's not there, you just let uh, Isha know tomorrow. Should be yeah uh, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it's auto uploaded. Should be auto. Uh, it it should be auto uploaded. All right, but but just in case, right, because it's the first class, they might forget to put the script or anything. Uh, then then you you if it's not there, you let let her know tomorrow. Okay. Any other question? Okay. So tomorrow, give me don't 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 wait don't wait. Uh, give me max until six pm lah. Right. Give me max until six pm. Then you check your email. Uh, I will try to invite you tomorrow as well. So give me check your email around six pm. So that and then be on Slack. Uh, slide for your notes, everything I will move it to Slack. All right, once Slack is there, everything it will be there. But if you want it now, here's the link. Eh, because that's one thing that I don't like about about Teams juga. Dia punya message, message, message tu dia dia ke atas. All right, so if you want it now, I can give it now. All right, but everything I will move to Slack anyway. So just tomorrow, uh, give me until 6 p.m. Until you should get it on your email. Okay, so that's it. All right, so uh, tum uh, uh, tomorrow, kalau you ada apa-apa, you can PM. Uh, so, no need to be uh, so personal. Apa? Satu semua nampak takut dia malu kan? Uh, so, tomorrow ni. All right, so that's it. I'm going to see you tomorrow.